sub. Who's that? Bish Bash. Hello, can you hear me? TML Bish Bash, thank you. Hi, Dimmy. I'm just doing the usual tweet thingy, and then uh, I'll start where it starts off. Bash, glad you got the glasses. I posted them yesterday. Oh, they got their... Oh, yeah, because I sent them... Uh... Oh, that's right, because I, did... I uh, posted them a little bit late because I was away. I'll chat to you when I turn the camera on anyway. But thanks. Extract. 
cash. Your gun is not even a meta. Pistol link will hatch link. What's up, big boy Tony? Little rat. Little rat. In supermarket. You go collect the little gas analyzer. Freaky, victory hand light skin tone heart happy sub day. Cheeky Breaky, how you doing? I'm back. I'm here. I made it out alive from a treacherous Sweden. Um, let's put the chat thing on, put the, the bigger camera on, and let's put some tunes on. Um, you have to let me know if the music's a bit, I think that's about the right kind of volume. When I play off stream, I have the background music a little bit louder for my like ambient John Tarkov relaxing sessions. Um, so, hello, what's up? Um, thank you, Bish Bash and uh, Mosho for the subs while we were loading in. Um, hello, Miss Jackalope and Dimmy, Stainless Steez. Uh, Bish Bash was saying he got his glasses. Um, thanks for the order. I actually, I posted them yesterday. I know you ordered them about a week ago, if I remember correctly, but I just, um, I was getting ready for the gig in Sweden and I didn't have time to like pack them up and go and post them. And then I fell off my bike as well. I can't remember what day that happened, but my bike was out of action and Welcome all the rest of it. The um, but yesterday I rode into town Hello. with my new pedals. I didn't fall off my bike. Nothing broke. And, um... Yeah, posted it yesterday, so they got there next day. That's really, really good. G Fresh, 22 months. Bloody hell. That's a, a, a long one. 22 months is a big one. Thank you, G Fresh. Thank you for the sub. Yeah, good to see you all today. Um, thanks, everyone, that was watching at, um, the weekend on Saturday when I was playing in uh, in Stockholm. That was nuts. And it was really nice that it, it worked. I've um, that's the second time now when I've had a real life <laughs> gig in a club, um, and just taking my phone and streaming live from my my phone, and it worked. So like I, I watched the stream back or like skipped through it today, um, so I could download the video, and um, sound quality is good. I mean, it's good enough for what I'm doing there. Um, and it's so cool that I could bring you guys with me and it's kind of like you're all in the VIP with me and like you're in the booth and you can see what I'm seeing and um, I try and sort of turn the camera around so you can see my face and stuff. The same way as if like it was Magda like chilling with me, you know, she'll sort of be on the rare occasion she would come to a gig like, you know, standing behind me in the booth or whatever and you can see the vibe and then occasionally I'll turn around and be like, whoa, this is good, isn't it? Um, so it's really nice and... Um, quite a cool application for what this crazy twitch situation we've got going on um so yeah um so it's tuesday which is my tarkov gaming stream session i'm going to turn the music down a little bit it's slightly too loud for me i find it a lot to sort of uh focus on even though my mind's brain's always very hyper um Having the, the music playing as well uh, stresses me out a little bit. Um, and I need to pay attention to what I'm doing and pay attention to the chat and uh, notifications and things. Um, so, yeah, so we're playing Tarkov today. I'll just, you know, I would be playing Tarkov anyway, but I can chat to you while I'm I'm here. Um, got my screen up. So I need to check. So my skills here, I'm... On the way to level 39, like level 40 is when the next bigger stuff happens. Um, what, there's, these are all my quests. Reach sniper skills, that's going to happen. Punisher is something I'd like to plug away at here if I can try and get some PMC kills on shoreline. But as you know with me, that's a, a rare occurrence. Um, 
Decontamination service is a task I'm doing at the moment, plugging away at slowly. There's no lead on tasks, but I just like to get it done and it's fun going to interchange anyway. So I think we're going to start doing this. Um, going to go and do some nighttime interchange runs to try and kill a few scavs and just get some XP into it. Um, and I'm going at night time because I've also got this other quest called Chumming rolling on, uh, which it's not showing up. Where's Chumming? It's a skier one. That's weird. Is it skier? Yeah, there we go. I've still got to kill three PMCs in interchange and at night time. So, um, yeah, we're going to give going to give that a go. I'm loaded up. Um, I need to take a food and a drink. I've got meds and stuff. I'm going to I've started to decide to take car kits in because I've um, got injectors now for a lot of healing things. Um, but I found that I need something that heals bleeds. Oh, yeah. Let's check teapots real quick. Thanks, Timmy. I got oh 25. Get in there quick. Oh, we're going to buy all these up. Basically, these all I can sell. Oh, yes. Thank you, Dimmy. This is pure stonks. Holy shit. OMG, wow. Stonks. Mega That's stonks. some big stonks. Oh, yeah. Any Look teapot at that I loot. can buy for We're gonna less be rich. than 34k Praise is pure stonks. Stonks. profit up to the value of 34k. So, um, Cheeky breaky. I'm off to go buy me something stonks. nice and shiny with all these rubles we be getting with these big stonks Lovely. today. Well we done, go. John B. There's some teapots. Let's let's do the do the teapot trade. I think we can probably fit ten in my stash now. There we go. Boom. And then I click back, see if I can get any more. Nope. So every single one of them, you uh, a teapot converts into a belt, <laughs> and then I sell them to him for thirty four k each. So uh, do ten of them. That's like at least forty k profit, just like that. So. Nice! How many more we got there? Five. Do five more. And then we'll go and get in a raid. Unless... No, there's no more yet. That's enough for now, I'd say. Isn't chumming fishing for sharks with fish guts? It is. It is. But maybe that's why... Yeah, it's... It's probably, probably a bit of a, a reference to that, isn't it? Like trying to, trying to kill PMCs at night and interchange. It does feel like you're about to get fed to sharks, especially when you're me. <coughs> right. Um, that's all rolling. Got my gun, got some bullets. We'll see how we go. Uh, let's top up my spare bum bullets. Uh, there we go. I've got my docs case. I've got money in case we go on the th on the car. I'm wearing the right gear for that quest. So, yeah, let's roll. Let's roll. Um, Ninja Fish, thank you for the follow. Uh, right, interchange, night time. Ensure all my shoot. Okay, cool. Oh, Bally Booth, thank you so much for all the bits at the weekend, by the way. Um, I need to work my way through all the, the alerts and stuff and, and, and thank everyone because I, I couldn't, like, call everyone out because I w was sort of... Uh, it's more difficult to read the chat and everything in in the busy nightclub because I was doing it on my I had my iPad sort of to the side, and it's smaller text than what I have when I'm DJing upstairs. So uh, and also I couldn't like shout everything out in the club on the mic because people have got mad with me. Um, but yeah, thank you, Bally Booth. So uh, hello to Ninja Fish. Ah, the Ro yeah, the Ronin Barter Ninja Fish. Yeah, I um I did that a few times last wipe because it's one of the ones that Airwing Marine recommended. But I just found like there's too many things you have to buy. Um, and it can you only do like one of them every reset or something? I know there's money to be made on it. Um, I like the the belt one because you can um uh like it's un an unlimited amount of them. Um. You don't have to wait for Ragman to reset or anything, do you? But yeah, I'll have another look at the Ronin one and, and look at the numbers and um, see if it's something I should add to my rotation. I saw another one that's um, the Jaeger one for the Tarzan rig with matches. You can do two, like you buy a, buy a hunter's matches, which are sometimes only like 6K. 
and you can get a Tarzan rig which sells to Ragman for like 11 and a half so a couple of them that's another 10k if you're doing it if you're sort of not actually you know doing raids um it's a good little thing to add the road oh shit okay we're going in right interchange night time we've got to kill scavs we've got to avoid players really hello gabriel hello erosatron what's up right this is the bit i really really cheeky breaky scared Bal -cheek oh! someone did a cheeky breaky bally boo thank you right okay where am i here on the side oh fuck uh, which side is that? I need to just get the fucking side. Uh, and just hide for a minute. Turn off the blue laser, I think. Search. Okay, I know where I am now. Some other people could run in from the side there. But hopefully they won't. Great. Nothing. Right. So, if I'm here, my extract's going to be railway. And... That's Emicom, so... I kind of want to push up to power and get the scavs up over there. But where I am here... Oh, shit. Um, if I go up that way, then I can go across the front. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, so... I'm going to go this way. Am I getting this right? Yeah, that's that's Emicom. That way runs up to the corner and then along there's the front. Yeah, so we'll do that. We'll come into the front of Ollie and see if there's any uh, scavs I can dink up there. Just got to hope. I'll just go a bit slowly in case people run in underneath to go up killer ramp and stuff. I'm really shit down here in uh, Rush Medical. <laughs> I would if I had the key and if I uh, had good PvP. I just want to let everyone else do their rushing shit and then um, hopefully pick off a few scavs under here because I'm doing decontamination service. I need to learn a bit more where the, uh, the little goodies are down under here as well because I really don't come underneath here much. I don't come to interchange much. Check them on full auto. Right. Ah, and I think sometimes you can run into other PMCs up there, can't you? At least with me doing this at night time, there shouldn't be too many other people around. Um, I like the PSO. It's cheap. I'm running relatively cheap gear so that I get it back when I die, which always happens. Um, I'm not very good at PvP. I'm just here to kill scavs. Uh, I've been using the ACOG for a bit. And I, I just found this... It, it feels nice. Oh shit, okay, this is where I don't want to be. go back out here and back out the front. I want to get to the front of Ollie and sort of give Scavs a chance to um, spawn in. I 
But I've, I've started using the PSO rather than the ACOG, and um, it feels nicer. I'm still pretty shit with scopes, to be fair. Well, I'm pretty shit with everything, but um, running with a laser for the up-close stuff and trying to get better at just mag-dumping rather than... Okay, I'm trying to get my bearings. I kind of want to get outside and get to the front. And uh, either work my way along the front road to get scavs. Um, or around sort of power station. This is, is this coming out the side now? So I'll be able to walk along to power. Yep. So that's no bag extract around there, isn't it? Yep. And I'm just walking to be quiet in, on the off chance I can catch a PMC unawares and actually get one of my chumming kills. I'm just going to uh, be quiet. I'm lucky I might catch like a pistoling that's already done his med thingy running to no backpack. Right. Oh, my wife's just texted me. Okay. Right. I've had people shoot at me from up there before when I'm doing this. Hopefully anyone that's spawned at power stations done their things, buggered off now. And hopefully I can just come here, pick off a few scavs, loot all the random stuff at power, if the other people haven't. And then I'll either push down to railway or... Ooh, that's weird, the lights went off. Um, or get the car extract, because I'm just keeping on trying to do that to get a bit more scav karma. And I've got to make sure when I kill the scavs, if I manage to, it's closer. Because it's got to be under 60 metres. Hey, Infiltrator, how you doing, man? Oh, and hello, Prime Dark. Infiltrator, thanks again for all the subs at the weekend, man. Big up. Right. I'm not going to turn my laser on yet. Bit foggy, can't see any foggy. Thing. Right, stay frosty, folks. I would hope there'll be some scavs there now. So if I can just get some stuff. Okay, good, this hasn't been hit yet. Power bank, nice. Ooh, a better rig than what I've already got. Cool. Uh, search it first. Chuck my stuff in it, put all this in it, put that in there, put that in there, job done. Power bank's worth more to me than them. We'll hotkey those as well. Car kit should be hotkeyed. All right, cool. And I'll just drop. Oh, no, I can keep this rig for now. Right. I've got a key, which I think might be for this cabin here, so I'm going to just check it. Uh, oh, come on, mate. Why can't I go in here? What's going on? Can you not go in that? That's strange. Oh, shit. Oh, that's too far Welcome away. Here we go. Key. Right. Hello. Why can I not go in? That's why you have to do a jump. I've never been in here. Let's see if the, the key was worth it. Crunch King, thank you. Thank you for the uh, for the prime. Oh, a 105. All right. Okay, things are looking good. Um, anything else in here? 
Ah, that key was worth it. This is like portable cabin of the something room. Um, right, I'm just going to drop this and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to shut the door behind me. Right, so there was a scav up there. People don't normally expect that to be open, so if I just close it. Right. I'll just loot these things on the way and then get ready for some um, scav business. I don't think the car's there. I didn't see the lights. Okay, 16 something. All right, I'll have that. Get my eyes glowing. So many light bulbs. Was oh, that the car? It's not. All right, so if I survive this bit, we're going to have to go to railway after this. Okay. Lasers on. Just got to look out for that scav. He had a light. Assuming it was a scav. I'm going to go inside. There's a scav. Where is he? Is he in here? Good. One down. All right. All right, enough ramboing. <laughs> uh, shall I take that rig? Meh. No. All right, let's do a bit of searching. The power's not on, so maybe that means no one spawned here. In which case, there might be some good shit. Let's check that first. Check the shelves. A relay. Nope. Uh, maybe someone did spawn here. Alright. Um, I'll just check the computers and things. Lucky I've got the silencer on my gun. So people shouldn't know I'm here. Hello, I'm amazing! Uh, right, what do I need to drop here? I've got too much useless shit. Because um, I don't want to block. Uh, I'm not going to do the filing cabinet. Where am I? Only one scav. I thought I heard someone outside then. Machinery key. Check for bolts and stuff, and then we'll push down. Um, maybe I'll turn the power on as well, just so that if there's any PMCs, they think I'm heading that way. Did I hear a swivel then? I didn't check the stash. Let's turn the power on. stash and then get out of here ah I think the gun that I picked up the lights on it is so that's showing where I am I need to change that quick rat poison that's worth another gun okay yep yeah there you go I'm running around with a flipping beacon on me uh no i haven't played armor looks good though um yeah the pistol's definitely given my position yeah <laughs> i've turned it off should be good right I'm gonna go along here now and try and push to the front and then try and go in the front of ollie and try and get some scavs that hang around by the cash registers 
sorry, idea, not Ollie. I might peek my head in there as well. Um, well, I'll go in the, the hole a bit further up. Red sky at nice, John Peter light. It's a red sky. Deep red sky. <laughs> I've actually been forced to listen to that tune quite a lot today. I've been, um, I actually finished it actually, so uh, probably be tomorrow now, but I'm, when we went to Dorset the other week, I filmed when we went on our walk. And I just randomly made her like touristy. I thought I heard somebody then. Made a touristy video of our, our sort of nine mile walk we went on. And I put the red sky as the soundtrack. So um, I'll hit the live button on that on um, YouTube. Like tomorrow, I need to make the thumbnail and do all the rest of it. And there won't be time today, but yeah. Ditch the, ditch the MK16. Is it pointless? Okay, trust you on that. Uh, let's eat an Iskra. Yeah, what can we what can we drop? Tool sets aren't really worth that much now, are they? Shall I drop the tool set? Yeah, fuck it. It's taking up too many slots. Yeah, not for four slots. I'm not really here to loot anyway. I, I do my looting on scav runs really, but... Uh, <laughs> the world wants me to have a flipping tool set, doesn't it? Shall I take that? I know I'll... If ever there's a health, uh, a heal or something. Um, yeah, nighttime interchange scav runs is how I make money on, on Tarkov. When I discovered sort of you know, just my little way of doing it. Even though I'm crap at PMC runs and PvP and everything, I, I managed to have a good time. Cause, oh, okay, I hear a scav. That's on my left. Do you reckon that's someone inside or back at... I might go back. Scav just spawned in near power? Or underneath? I do find, if I have a good PMC run, you know, you can get a load of loot as well, but I just, I'm always, I'm kind of more about getting my quests done if I'm on a PMC. I'd rather just survive and get some XP. Right. This is crazy coming back here, but I just, I heard a scav shout, so. I'm wondering if we had some. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. Must be underneath somewhere then. Yeah, I can show you my uh, nighttime scav run. Um, after this, when we die. Right, we're going into the unknown here. I'm terrible underground. Ah, but I did discover um, some new little lootingy spots here that I didn't use to always check. So, uh... <laughs> elite strength. Look at that. Oh, piranha, be proud. Um. So around here, there's a med bag. I think, yeah. Sometimes there's med stuff on here. There we go. Or stuff loose. I found a golden star there the other day. Um, but this is a good little detour that I'll, I'll definitely put into my rotations. I'm not going to bother that. Let's send it again. 
Um, so check them and then we go back to where we came in. There's a little weapons box thing. So if you're kind of passing, it's worth popping in here and just having a quick look. I normally just hit that um, the box that we did there in the stash. You're a you're a nighttime reserve scav main. Yeah, my uh, my agent James is as well. Like uh, he made big bank um, doing nighttime reserve scav runs. Um, last wipe. I I don't know reserve much at all. So uh, right. So I'm expecting to run into a scav around here because we heard one murmuring. Um, is that worth anything? HK tri rail? It doesn't really look very pricey. Uh, what am I doing? I just had to check a Discord. Message there. Um, yeah, whoever it was that just discorded me there, like, I don't know, about some other game or something. Like, I don't have time to play anything apart from Tarkov, so. Um, sounds cool, but I'd like to play Tarkov more than I do. <laughs> Stuart, thanks for the 50. Right, I'm hoping I'm going the right way here. I, I want to be coming out to the front of Idea. If I uh, haven't lost my bearings. Is that a grenade box? It is. Ah. AB20. Nice. Uh, I have a feeling that might be worth a little bit. Um, let's leave them. Right, we need to get some of these bloody scavs. That's what I'm here for. I've got one so far. Okay, this is an escalator that I think takes me up to idea, right? Or is this middle? The fuck is this? Is this the Goshen? I don't know where I am here. Ah, okay, cool. Can work with this. Normally there's scavs running around here. Yeah. I hear one. I didn't get him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Run. I'm gonna go around the other way. <laughs> I don't trust scavs anymore. They're um crazy. Uh, plus, I'm just gonna reload and uh, repack because this one's got the BP and the other one's got the PS. scuffling Welcome to Sick the Lord. Thank you. Thank you for the two months. 
Ah, oh, maybe I can get... Oh, shit, okay. That was someone running out of the escalator. Oh, killer. Oh, fuck. I think that was killer. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> it's killer. Dead. <sighs> yeah. Oh well. At least I was. It was an honourable death. I'm glad I recognised it was him. Oh dear. Dead to killer. Oh, he doesn't have very good ammo. Why? Uh, all right, let's get some tunes on and go again. I got one scav. One. Nice. So we got a power bank. That's all right. Gauge, I can just sell straight away to therapist. Maybe I can scav back in and uh, yeah, let's quickly do a do an interchange scav run and oh hang on let's heal my guy uh have i got any salewas 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 oh wow he really fucked me up okay let's quickly scav in and see if we can find my dead body uh it would probably be 6 a.m now wouldn't it yeah Okay. Sometimes if you're lucky and you do a scav on the same map, it puts you back in the same same raid. So yeah. So um we'll run to where I died, and if my body isn't there, then um I'll try and try and show you my little moneymaker route. Although it looks like what's my guy got here? Uh so a triton. Um and a sort of a tea bag. They're not very good. Oh you can't see see what I've got. But um yeah, my scav doesn't have very good shit. <laughs> It's the red tracers, uh, Wiley. Like when you when I see the red tracers from the gun, I'm like, oh shit. Normally I'd just be dead immediately, but luckily he didn't get me at the beginning there. Maybe that's why we heard that person just go straight down the escalator. They were like, nope. Oh, that's a shame because I could have. If he hadn't been there, there'd be a bunch of scavs just bumbling around in that area. Um, right, we're in. Okay, twenty-two minutes. Uh, I suppose. I'll loot some shit. What have we got here? Nothing. So I died. We need to go to idea. Killer might kill me. Oh, well, we're close. So here we go. We're about to find out. Hello. Does killer attack you if you're a player, Scav? Hello, friendly Scav. What's up, bro? Oh, hey, how you doing? I just spawned in. I actually just died oh, as a... Fun. I was a PMC and I died to killer. I'm seeing if my body's here. <laughs> if uh, I can remember so where I was. I can't hear you so much because I'm on Discord. Oh, okay, cool. Have a good ride. You too. Uh, it was here that I died, so... Yeah.
Nothing very exciting in it. Right, uh, I think I'll just hit these stashes on the way out because those are, those are the guys I'm not going to... So I would normally go in there and then I, I come out on the way to railway. Are you off, infiltrator? Take care, mate. Sleep calls. Sleep is worthy of, of calling, always. It's a precious thing. Have a good one. I realised this weekend how, like, crazy, crazy important sleep is to, like, my vibe. I felt so fucked after having a disrupted sleep pattern from the travels. And especially when you've got an early start. Take care, mate. See you in, Fultreya. Ooh, that's worth good money, I think. So, I come out here, I hit that. And then I hit this stash here that's in the middle of the go-kart track. Quite often people miss this, like PMCs would, because it's pretty, um, you're quite exposed here. Screws, eagle. Um, ah, so that's a single shot over there. Is that someone killing scavs? Or oh, maybe I can get him to do a friendly PMC extract. Enough, I've got some good stuff here that I'd like to get out with though, so... Uh, right, I think the gauge is worth more than the Aquamari. <laughs> Let's drink all the water. Go crazy. If you do super water, drink the super water, you use super wee. Right. Should we go on an adventure and try and find the guy at the shop and see if he'll... Oh, no, that's not... Uh, did I come to this one? Am I going mad? Did I even check this one or did I just run straight up there? I didn't. I did. Alright. So I come through here. I didn't used to, but I always have a quick little look in here. Sometimes there's stuff down here. I live in hope that one day there'll be a Bitcoin, but I don't think it spawns that kind of shit. Um, I checked this weapons box here. Most people... Get about it. I've found some nice AKs and things in there in the past. Uh, that might be worth something, I don't know. It's one of those scav runs where I haven't got a very good bag, so um, I can't really make much money here unless I find a nice armor or something. Oh, or uh, I'll have a moonshine and I'll have another condensed pox around cells more actually and that and that's more use to me to make snickers right now we've got something to get out with a flipping uh, moonshine that's big stonks that's 280,000 rubles oh big stonks. wow stonks that's some big stonk so I need to get out without whoever that was over there doing a little shoot from deciding they want a piece of the John B. God, I'm getting pretty good for... Well, it says I'm only getting 85 FPS here, but it feels pretty snappy. Is that good ammo? I don't know. Is that... It's probably worth more than that, but then if I have to start fighting someone, I'll regret it. Uh, crackers, let's... Hope that that's one of those secretly good ammos that I've forgotten about, but I don't think it is. Right, now this is where we just hope for no exit campers. Refresh rate is really good now. I always feel like when it gets really snappy like this, I might be the only person left on the server, but... Should I check the jacket? Just in case there's a Merin key in there. Mer is it Merin or Merlin? I don't have whatever that key is, so... Metlick! Welcome thank you for the seven months! Hello. Okay, there's no keys there. Right, so... Hiya. I'm just going to wait till I've got my stamina back. Everybody loves duck sauce! 
Thank you for the follow. Right. Mm. Now we just gotta hope there's no bastards around. А вот тут кореш мой бывал точно. Friendly scare, friendly scare, friendly scare. easy. Опачки. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Da 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 All right, that made up for getting killed by a killer. We made our money back. Thank you for the seven months, Met Lick. Thank you. Hello, Mage. Um, I had my first real life gig in ages um, at the weekend, and it, and it was really, really good. Uh, the gig was sold out, like really, really busy. Um, everything went great. Like mentally, it's a bit fucking mad. Um, I mean, it always is playing at big gigs going from my sort of day-to-day -day life at home, you know, relatively calm and chilled and everything, just me and my computers and going for walks. And then, um, you know, when you have a gig, you're, you're thrust into this, like, crazy, huge, busy, loud environment where everyone wants to talk to you and you're DJing. And, like, it's it's a, a big, like, sort of um, clusterfuck. Um which is fine, like, it's amazing, it's a really cool situation, but it's pretty fucking mad to, like, deal with, and, like, there aren't that many other people that I know, apart from other DJs, um, who have experienced that kind of crazy, you know, that, that life, you know, people don't understand how it feels, um, so it's, it's weird, and, like, it's double weird now, being, coming back into it after, you know, COVID, like, a very calm, period of time um so so yeah it's a bit weird <laughs> um but it's great to be back out playing big time i'm gonna sort of am i gonna bother trying to tidy my stash here i should try and at least put my stuff away a bit and then we're gonna go we're gonna go to shoreline next because i've got to do two shoreline survives um and i'm gonna wear my balaclava and my scav vest um, in an attempt to do Punisher, whatever it is I've got to do. Um, I'm not going to take amazing gear because I'm a pussy and I'm not um, playing with anybody that uh, can protect me. Um, although that said, I'll wear the current. Um, I might as well decent. I, I hardly ever play any flipping PMC raids like in the week so i might as well wear something good if i'm doing it right so what gun let's make sure we've got the some good meds before we go any further always like a painkiller always like one of them take that in case we break some bones and we'll take a ah let's let's take one of them right if we actually want to kill some players, if we... Ah, I wanted to rank up my sniper skill, but I've got good shit that I don't want to lose now. Okay, so here we go. So this is the... Ooh, how about the MDR? I fancy doing a bit of an MDR. Although people will definitely take that when they kill me. Um... AK, a cheapo AKMSN, that might be fun. That's a bit of a weird looking gun, isn't it? What do you think? Gig's always busy and you feel just like a lemon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> grenade. Yes, good shout. Well, don't let me forget a grenade. Shall I take this weird AKMSN? Or shall I just take a sniper and we'll try and... Let's take a sniper and we'll try and snipe some bloody... Uh... Yeah, I'll take a shitter helmet. And we'll just try a bit of sniping. Although I don't think these are worth that much, are they? Oh, okay. Uh, 
if someone shoots me in the head, it's going to hit me in the head. And I'm going to die. We'll take that. All right. And bolt action. Isn't the PS thingamy bob? SNB is cool. Ah, we don't need the BP. Uh, BP can go back in there. Um, we'll put some SNB in there. We don't need the interchange keys. Uh, um... We'll take the shoreline ones because we're going to shoreline. Uh, and I just need some ammo to actually load into the gun. Isn't there... Isn't there... P ah, there we go. PS. That's the good shit for this gun, I think. Yeah. And a grenade. Thank you, Dimmy, for the reminder on that one. Is my health okay? It is. Yes. Salt Light, how you doing? Good evening. We're playing Tarkov tonight, um, so hope if you're here for the music, I hope you can bear with me. Um, right, 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 got that. Food and drink is important when you're going to Shoreline, because it can be a long raid. Um, I might take a shitty pistol with me as well, just in case we run into any... Uh, let's take this weird thing. Um, all right. I don't even know what kind of ammo they take. PBM. I've got some of it. Let's see what that's like. And then that can be my spare mag in case we survive a pistol fight. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, oh, I've got to drink something before we go in as well, haven't I? Uh, let's have some of that. Because it was my scav when I drank the water, wasn't it? Right, right, right. Cool. Armour, gun, shit. Uh, we're going to shoreline. I think. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Uh, should we go in the evening? Let's go in the morning. Fuck it. Just remind me to hit reload as soon as we get in, otherwise I'm going to be clicking my gun and not even killing anyone. So I've really got to work on ranking up my sniper skill, um, which I would normally cheese from just sitting somewhere reloading and everything, but you get better points by actually shooting people with a sniper rifle. So hopefully I'll be able to get a couple of sort of sniper scav kills maybe. Um depending on how risky I'm feeling. Well, I, I've got a daily where I have to do two shoreline survives, so um, we'll see how we do on this one. With a, I, I'm not confident with sniper rifles at all, um, but I've got this, I've had this one sitting in my stash for a while, so we'll give it a go, give it a go. I'm doing all right, Salt Light. Um, it's nice to be back home now. Um, I played in Stockholm at the weekend, had a, my first DJ gig abroad, my, th my first DJ gig anywhere since Halloween, actually. Because um, things started opening up around about then, but then Omicron happened and the clubs kind of shut down everywhere again or, you know, people weren't going out because of worries about it. Um, so, yeah, it was it was great. Um, really nice to be back out there. Really nice to be travelling again. I, I really love it. I love being on planes and, like, chilling in airports and things. Um I'm I'm finding it a bit harder adjusting than it, it used I used to just sort of um I think combination because I'm sober now and I I don't drink and uh, maybe I'm a bit more in tune to sort of feeling a bit frazzled or like maybe it's anxiety or I don't, I don't know I, um because I'm completely calm about DJ and going to the clubs and all that I really like it and it's like feels e I'm not worried about DJing I've done it all my life it's easy and I'm don't have social anxiety or anything but um I think it's maybe because you know gigs are so much more important now because there's less of them because of covid and everything that I I want even more than usual to like do a really good job and um for everything to go well and even though if it doesn't it doesn't like nothing that you know worst that could happen that you can think of is you know you really fuck up and everyone's like boo like which never happens and it never would and i don't worry about any of that but but still sort of i when i'm traveling i just sort of feel uneasy and i can feel like my heart's like that pressure on your chest with sort of anxiety stuff but 
it's very weird because I, I I kind of like don't care about any of the things you would worry about. I, I'm very sort of dissociated from it all. So um, that's that's um, strange, but um, but yeah, it's good. I had some really nice calm moments, especially like flying home. The uh, Stockholm airport's super chill, uh, and especially now, like it's quite quiet because I guess the you know passenger numbers aren't as high. Um, and that that was cool, and and the flight was nice, and the promoters had got me business class like uh, tickets because they'd uh, I don't know they were they were not much more than economy, so that was lovely. Absolutely fucking love flying business class. Um, well, I couldn't find a business lounge in Stockholm Airport, so but it didn't. Really, you don't need peace and quiet from the rest of the airport when the whole airport's super chill anyway. <laughs> um, But yeah, yeah, feeling good. I'm, I'm really glad the gig was a big success, and we, um, I could do the stream from my phone, and we streamed from Twit on Twitch from the gig, and that was awesome. Um, so just settling back into it now, and it's nice to know I've got a month now at home before my next gig, so I can sort of concentrate all the sort of non uh, club DJing prep type stuff. Um, so I've got a lot of things to do that are all pretty cool. Um, really need to get some more studio stuff done as well. Come on, I've been waiting four minutes now. I just want to get in shoreline and run. For oh, I have to remember to like sprint to level up my endure. Is it endurance? Yeah. I've been uh, Piranha and Azzy were telling me about that. You have to run without stopping. Uh, yeah, the gig is on the VOD uh, command. Yeah, there's um, I, there's actually two because I did a sound check. Um, reload when I land. Yes, thank you, Dimmy. Yep. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's almost like you knew I was about to load in then. Right. Yeah, got to hit the reload as soon. Otherwise, that could be really bad. I'll run into someone and be like, click. No bullets in gun. Because you rank up your sniper skill from every bullet reloaded. Ah, cool. Mugs is on the... Uh, right, reload. Right, okay. If I spawn here, what do I do if I'm just trying to get out? Uh, maybe just try and pick off... Ooh. I think we'll we'll run along the middle and try and get the, the uh, sniper scavs. Ooh, a skull! Yeah, boy! Quick! Stonks! Stonks! OMG wow stonks. stonks that's some big stop those rings they're like I don't know 60k or something they're pretty good did I reload oh holy ergo right Anyone coming? Fuck knows. If I can run along here, maybe I can snipe gas station scav. I should be ahead of anyone behind me, but there will be people behind me. And there will be people possibly run up there, so I need to sort of get out of the killing fields. If Sturman's on the pier, I'm possibly fucked. There could also be people that run along the shoreline. I can't see any Sturman-like people, but we'll have a quick look. Do we see a gas station scarf? No. All right. There's going to be people up there on the left, though, so I need to watch out for them. And there's going to be people running in from the right. Okay, I see a sniper scav. That's good. I need to be in a position where people up there can't get me. But I would like to actually... Where did he go? Shit, he moves. Okay. Sounds like a shot at the resort. I'm looking at the top of that building there to see the sniper scavs. 
But they've moved. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on. How did I miss him? It's supposed to have a flipping silencer on it, this thing. Okay, people will have heard me now, so... Usually there's two... Hmm, so do I go back and go along the beach or do we push through because there could be other guys that have run up here and they'll be now looking for me. Hmm. Let's see if I can get any other scavs on there. That helps. Because if I'm if I've got the other spawns, I run along and pop up there, so... Is that someone killing scavs up over there? See if I can just push through here, sneaky. Hello, Dirty Beatnik. Hello, Premet Pooper. I do not like close range Mosin fights. Oh. Oh, no oh shit. Don't think he likes them either. Oh. Негодяй! Гад, иди сюда, ты говно жопа! Oh god, I'm making a meal of this. Alright. I think I'm just going to go in here and heal up for a minute. What have I done to myself here? Arm. Heavy bleeding. Fix it with that. Quick. Quick before it blacks out. Quick. Thanks, Digital. Alright. Heal it with that. Okay. Ah, we also need more bullets now. Okay. Let's uh... get reloading before the bad guys come looking for me. Did I reload enough bullets? Okay, I'm panicking a bit here. Shall I stick all of them in there? Hmm. Uh, okay, we need to keep hitting. For this. Ah, at least if I get his secondary, that would be nice. Somebody trying to shoot at me there. I was up to my right. So I need to GTFO, really. That, hmm. What I want to do is go down towards gas and see if I can shoot at the gas scav. I'll go sort of a long way. Sometimes there's one over there on this, is that spine what they call it? Let's just chill for a minute everybody. Take it easy. All I need to do here is survive and get some sniper ranking scav killing. Hmm. 
Usually there's a scav milling around here. Or on the road. And I do need PMC kills, but I think that's very unlikely. Ah, there he is. Oh, come on, mate. He literally moved just as I saw him. Come on. Come on, man. He was right there. Oh, that's so annoying. There he is. Come on, come on. I hurt him. Got him! Great. However, other people will have just heard me doing that, so... I need to keep pushing on. Hopefully that'll be good for my sniper skill. I need to uh, take a moment here. Yeah, I do wear earplugs. Dirty beatnik. Um, yeah, it's really important. I have done for donkey's years. SNB is quite expensive, so... Let's do a bit of that, just... Yeah, I use um, 25 decibel reduction earplugs, ear which is another thing that makes the whole experience a bit weird, because you sort of... Um, just adds to the sort of feeling of not being quite there. Like... A sort of separate entity from the... Oh, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding! Oh, God, I can imagine Ballybooth, yeah. Light bleeding. Will that heal my light bleeding? Yeah, I didn't used to wear earplugs when I first started going out. And it was in the days of, like, um, Eskimo noise and, uh, you know, insanely massive sound systems. A pop a propital. Oh, go on, yeah, just in case I get into any trouble. That made me feel like a streamer using injectors. That's news. Oh, and I see a scav up over there as well. This will be interesting for a bit of long range sniping experience. Although they are absolutely insane. Come on, right. Can we do it? Oh, look at that! One shot. There was another one as well, I think. I think... Yeah, there we go. I think I got him as well. Oh, come on. I like that Mosin. Beautiful. There you go. You don't have to be running like a... Oh. Ah, that's somebody killing a... Is that... Up ahead? No, that's... I've got enough XP just to get out now, so... Um, that's what I should really be doing. I haven't done any looting, but I don't care. Oh, there's, this, there's a stash up over here, isn't there? I can... I suppose this is a fun way to rank up my sniper skill, just do some nice shoreline runs and pop a few sniper scavs if I get the chance and maybe one day I'll get lucky and be able to snipe an actual player and get closer towards finishing Punisher. Holy shit, come on! 
just pop in here and check this stash, shall I? Got a graphics card. OMG, oh, wow. God. Stonks. That's some big stonks. Oh yeah, look at that loot. We're gonna be rich. Praise Nikita. St right. Do not die to anything. Should we just have a little look at it? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Hallelujah! 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 I just realised the lights have sort of gone down in here. There we go. Right. Son of a... Please don't shoot me! Come on. Come on, come on. Go on. Yeah, sugar. Oh no, did I not get the sugar? I thought I picked it up. Don't you find oh, I got the sugar? I did I not get the sugar? Hold your fire, cause it's a wife. Stop the wipe song. Prime Dark says he can't hear me. I know you can't hear me. So there was, I got a sugar. You're saying, were there two sugars? Did I miss a sugar? I can get extra sugar from the wife. <laughs> she's still at work, but she's on the way back. Ah, that's actually, I should probably text her to say I got the message. I was in a raid. Sorry, love. Great. I'm streaming. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, background music on, please. Nice. Schwan77, thank you for the follow. Um, let's just quickly sell a few things to make a little bit of space. I really enjoyed that, especially having not died. I'm a big fan of not dying. Uh, and actually sort of getting some scavs and that, was, that looked like I know what I'm doing there. Quite proud. GPU. Uh, they're not as expensive as they used to be. What do you reckon we can go for? 489? Let's go for 489999. I have... I've recovered now, Jill. Um, I was really fucked on um, Sunday, the day after. When I woke up in the morning, I felt really bad. Like, sort of headachey. I get really weird... I get really weird headaches. Um... If I've gone to bed like a bit too late, generally, like if, uh, you know, past midnight or something, I'm fucked. Even if I sleep for eight hours, I don't know what's up with it. Maybe it's linked to my blood pressure thing or something. But um, combination of the like overwhelm of all the traveling and going from like my normal shit to like, um, and, you know, the dopamine rush and, and all the rest of it. Uh, and then the strange food, blah, blah, blah. I was so fucked the next day. I I, I was worried. Like, I I was sort of felt like I was going to be sick in the morning. I think that was from, like, weird room service food, though. Um, 
But when I, I got home, we went to bed really early, like sort of 10, 10.30. And I slept right through um, and felt fantastic yesterday. Um, so I'm, I'm sort of, you know, back, back to as whatever normal as my normal is now, uh, which is really good. Um, really hoping I can go and get some exercise soon, though. Um, but I really find it hard to fit it in when I've got, like, my t tasks to do. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping we can... I'm, I'm, I was going to go for a run today, but then I was, like, doing shit and knew this stream was coming up and... And all of it, um, yeah, you, yeah, you're right, Jill. Yeah, it's 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 mad. Um, yeah, plane. The landing was scary. Um, although I've had worse and just not been aware of it because I I was just a bit more hyper aware because of um, having watched the old big jet TV dude and everything. Um, and it was like it, when I landed, it was the peak of the high winds on the the Sunday, um, like fifty miles an hour winds, and it was really like when you when you're coming into when a plane's flying normally it's quite smooth when you're flying in wind it just shakes around more and and stuff and coming into land it was re it feels like you're going faster than you are as well i guess because the wind's flapping around on the, the plane um so yeah it was a bit a bit of a a, a scary one but um landed first time I, I i wanted to just get home and i was like oh normally if a go around happens where they abort the landing at the last minute and everything you're like oh my god it's really scary but it doesn't actually scare me i've had that a few times before and he's like oh great another half an hour to snooze on the plane <laughs> hello faction two hello rob how you doing yeah i just had an amazing raid um let's just double double check i am on the right wavelength here exit location shoreline yeah i've got to do two shoreline survives and i get five thousand xp so We'll have another bash, do another one, really. Um, if I uh, have a bit of a, a drink. Um, and I'm good to go, I guess. Bit of food. Uh, let's have a sari. Buy another one. Why am I buying another one? I don't know. We can eat it after we've bought it. Nothing like fresh sari. Let's have a quick look for teapots as well while we're here. We might as well. There we go. Cool. Right, I'm good to go. Health is all right. I'll take in another IFAC because that thing saved me. Um, there, we'll take that one. And, yeah, we're just going to try and do another survive and another... Um, ah, we need another propotol as well. Uh, can I buy them off Therapist? 26. Vaseline. Stick them in there. Injector's case is so cool. I'm glad Cyborg told me to get one of them. All right. Right, we're going to load in. I think I've got everything. I'm ready to go. Still got the grenade. Got those bullets. Um, yep, yeah, let's roll. Uh, going to morning again. Nice, nice. Yes, happy Tuesday indeed. So I'll be back to the music stream uh, tomorrow. Um beach bar set uh i've got one more scene already done i'm going to try and get a couple more um tarkov beach scenes uh from woods by the, the the beaches in woods um oh and i don't know if you saw a uh, twitch con they finally announced the uh the date um and i sort of tweeted about it it's the same weekend as liquidity in amsterdam and twitch cons in amsterdam um, I mean, Liquisti is like the outskirts of Amsterdam. It's sort of a big field somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's Happy Twos Tuesday as well, isn't it? It's 22... Oh, yeah, what's going to happen at 20... Is that when all the nuclear weapons are going to go off? Um, that's another thing now. I, I, I'm just wearing, like, a black shirt tonight because it's all a bit weird with Russia and Ukraine and sort of acting pro-Russia because of Tarkov when what's happening over there is pretty fucking shady um, and worrying. I, my Twitter's just full of all that stuff now and I, I, I don't know. 
I need to know about it, kind of, to know what's going on in the world. But it's scary and upsetting. And, and anyway, anyway <laughs> we're supposed to be feeling good. Here's feel good stream. What's up, everybody? Um, yeah. So, <laughs> Mags is on her way home now, finally. She's on the train, so that's good. I'd really love to go and walk to meet her and get some fresh air and have a walk. Um, but this is one of my rare opportunities to have a good good Tarkov session, so um, I should be doing this as well. Right. Music off. We're going in. Same shit. And you've got to remember to sprint to exhaustion from the very beginning to get maximum endurance shit. Where am I? Here. Okay. Uh, oh, we can do that from here. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I want my endurance. I'll run all the way down and run back so I can get that stash. So you have to run. No jumping. Nothing to stop it. Okay, there we go. Apparently if you do that at the beginning of the raid, there's a like 120-something percent bonus to your... Um, stuff. Can I extract on Path to Lighthouse? Ooh, some tape. Stonks. Let's see. I could. Alright, let's just loot some shit. And see how we do. Well, I'd like to go and shoot some more scavs. Maybe we can go and have a look and see if there's scavs around on... Um, Scav Island again. Anything exciting? Nope. Treasure under the bed. Anybody? Treasure, treasure. Nope. Could be people pushing down south now from further up north, but... I'm just going to loot some of this stuff while I'm here. If I do get into a bit of CQB, I'm going to be kind of fucked because I've got a sniper rifle, but I'm just going to have to... Oop. Wow. AA battery. There's a graphics card can spawn in that thing, I think. I've been told many a time by people that know more than me. Did I search this already? Okay, so. Right. More jackets. Let's do the jackets. I think the plan is we go and have a little look at Scav Island and then maybe we come back and try to go to the Road to Lighthouse. Just for a bit of sniper levelling. 
sometimes there's a scav roaming around here by tunnel extract as well. So if I can get one scav kill then I can go to lighthouse, path to lighthouse extract. Well, it'd be more fun to fight my way through. But... That's shots. Maybe at cottages. So, we've got a little scav bump. Ah, nope. Ah, this is amazing. We, it's a lovely clear day. Beautiful for sniping. There we go. Well, there's something over there. Let's go and shoot him for a bit of sniper skill. Tree's gonna get in my way. I didn't kill him, did I? There's no way. Search this stuff. Wait for the rotation. I suppose I can go and have a look at gas station while I'm here then. Nice. Is he there? Yes, he is. Scav down. Cool. I think I'm just going to try and go for Road to Lighthouse ex Extract now. So I can get my daily done. Stick to the edge and hope we're cool. I like the, the Mosin for long range sniping. That's fine. Who needs a like 70k voodoo scope and. Well, it's much nicer, obviously, but. That's alright. Probably start walking it. Just in case anyone's come through here to start looting stuff. A new grammatic present perfect. Oh god, I have no idea. That's uh I'm sure I use that tense myself, but I wouldn't be able to identify it. But that snipe was a present perfect. <laughs> AK's fighting at pier, maybe? I could search some of these things, but I just want to kind of get out now. And I'll have the XP to be able to get out. I'll hit this house on the way. I need to learn the stashes. I know there's a couple in the town there. I just don't want to run into a, a scav in the village and have to deal with it. And someone can spawn here as well, but if they did, I would assume they'd have already dealt with the house by now.
doors open. Anyone in? Hello? It's them that then pushed up over there. Out. What's up, sticky buds? Headshot, 133 meters. Knives only. Great. Another successful raid and a survive. Before we do anything, let's hand that quest in. Uh, who is it with? Ragman. Ragman. Exit location. Boom. Great. And let's claim the stuff. It was mainly the XP that I was after. There. Um, not sure how much money we made out of that, but... Good, I can use those kites to um, make some BP. I'm just going to hit up my friend uh, James. Um, uh, to see he, if he needs some help. Um, not that I'm best person to give any help but uh, my my manager from my DJ bookings plays Tarkov and uh, he's got a few quests he needed to do and I thought I could uh, try and help him a bit um, or at least accompany him and we can both die that'd be quite fun um, right uh, stonk Food goes in there, that goes in there, that can go back there. One of your daily quests is exit Schnorline by Peerboat twice. Oh yikes. Are you playing now, Wild Camper? Do you wanna do you wanna do a quick shoreline run and see if we can get you out there? I'll gladly just uh bumble along doing my uh sniper shit. Um, but you'd have to be ready to go, like, pretty soon. You're on right now? Cool, okay. Um, can you send me a Discord message and then I can get you in voice? And, yeah, we'll go to Shoreline. We'll do a a, a loft crew <laughs> sort of Sherpa. Same. Um, have we direct messaged before? Hang on. Uh, can, you, can you send me a DM on Discord and then we can do a voice thing on there? Or... Uh, Let's see. Oh, there we go. Got you. Um, here we go. Hello. Cool. Right, I'm gonna uh, get in a voice chat now with Wild Camper, and we're gonna we do a duo. Uh, all right. Hello. 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 How are you doing? I'm good. The wonders of the internet. So you up? You up for um? a shoreline mission then yeah, we'll see if we can get you get you to peer boat 
equipment in at the moment. Cool. Yeah, I'm just sort of uh, trying to rank up my sniper skills, and if we happen to be able to snipe a, a player, then I'll um, I'll have a bash at that. But at the very least, I'll try and escort. I mean, you know, I'm not a good escort, but um, try and escort you towards the pier. Maybe I should take a better gun so that if we do come across anyone, I can like spray them. Um... I think I might actually take my SKS. It might be a good choice for this map, to be honest. Yeah. I'm running. I'm running a scoped Mosin, supposedly silenced. But um, what can I take? Just something to spray them. PP no, crappy MP5, shotgun in case we get. Yeah, maybe a crappy shotgun for up close. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Here we go. I'll just take a scabby shotgun in case things get a bit crazy. Put some uh, flechette in it. Stick, stick a helmet on and I should be good to go. Great, cool. I'm almost ready as well. I'm just um, sorting out my bullets. Uh, there we go. I'll take them in there. Yeah, shotgun vibes. Uh, I've got grenade. I've got to eat something. Um, I think James has just texted me back, possibly. Um, hang on a minute. Right, cool. Um bom, 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 bom. I think yeah, I'm I'm ready to go now, so um are we friends in a... What's your your in game name? Is it the same? My game name is uh, same as my Discord name, Wildcamper84. Okay, let's... Uh, how do I even do this? There we go. Send you a friend request. There you go, my friends. Great! Um, cool. Okay, we can, we can do this then. Um... Da, 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 da. Go for lunch. And uh, right, I'm in. I'm in lobby now, looking for you. Ah, oh, there we go. Great, cool. You feel we ready? can go. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Excellent. Nice. If I yeah, if I get killed, don't worry about my equipment. Okay. Yeah, I'm terrible at that anyway. Even if I was supposed to get it, I'm uh, I'm I'm not the world's greatest. If the other person happens, if the bad guy is dead, then I can I can try. But um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how we do. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get you there. Depending on where the spawn is, um, just uh. And it has to be up as well, doesn't it? It's not always up, right? Yeah. This, this peer extract. And fingers crossed, not a sound attack. Oh, yeah. I haven't. Yeah, yeah. Especially if I've got my flipping Mose in. <laughs> and like a scav Saiga that the sight will be like off miles. Oh, well. It'll be interesting. <laughs> yep. It will. I've, yep. Uh, I've got PS ammo in, so. Oh, crikey. We, we, can, we can drop scavs, okay, with it. It's sound attack. Yeah. Just eat it. Though. Yeah. Yeah, like wherever we, I'll be able to scope out from a long distance with my Mose in, and then when we push, if we get as far as like pushing in anywhere close, I can switch to that shit shotgun, um, and I can just try and get some scavs for the XP and and whatever. Um, maybe loot some stuff on the way. I need to get my search skill up and um, charisma and things. So yeah. Oh, and um, because of the wild camping -y vibes and everything, I um, you know, when we went to Dorset, right? I think I talked to you about it, like you know, backpacks and boots and all the rest of yeah. it. Because you're ah, I think Magda's just arriving. Hello, hi, I'm on the stream. I know, you know, um, yeah, I, I ended up like filming it all on my GoPro when we went on that the big walk we did along uh, Durdle Door and everything. So I'm 
be sticking that on. You can laugh at me and like, it was the first time I'd worn that rucksack and I hadn't even got the flipping chest harness on like properly. <laughs> um, it was sort of lopsided. I'm fully expecting all the like pro outdoors crew to be like, he's got an Osprey Kestrel 48, but he doesn't even know how to attach the clips on and it's lopsided. <laughs> um, but anyway. To be fair though, <laughs> modern harnesses on bags are pretty complicated. Mm. Yeah, there's so many things, like, aren't there? It, yeah, that's it. The sales assistants are usually pretty good at helping you set them up. If you buy it from if a shop. Order it online, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I went to a Cotswold Outdoors with Magda the day before we went so that she could get her like a base layer thingy. And I was like looking at all everything and like, whoa, whoa, this is all amazing. Um pleased with the rucksack I bought though, it's, it's good, and we're planning on doing some really long walks. So. Right, where are we at? Here. Okay. Let's push down here. I guess. There might be somebody that spawn. Do you reckon someone can spawn here if... I'm going to switch to my shotgun in case we do surprise someone. I should have put a laser on it. We'll at least hit these slashes if there's... Do we see anyone? Is that something else? Can't see anyone. Do you want to hit the railway stash and I'll hit this one? Yeah. If I can bloody get to it. Oh, okay. He's still there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not stirred. Tapping out to my mixer to turn you up a little bit. Oh, okay. So, ah, mines. Yeah. Right. So I guess what, there could be somebody spawned in the blue thingy there. So that's our main threat now, isn't it? Yeah. Unless the guy that spawned up there is pushed down too, but we're ahead of them. So we need to keep an eye to our right, sort of, um, I think. I might be able to snipe them once we're up over here. I've got to bring some milk with me for my uh, metabolism. metabolism. Oh, yes. I haven't really been doing that. I just eat and drink as I go. But yeah, I, I keep forgetting that milk is the um, the trick, isn't it? Yeah. To be fair, I, I normally wait until it's the right price on the flea market. Yeah. Smart move with everything. Right. If there's any nice long-range scavs here or players in the compound, that'll be beautiful. Especially if they don't see me. Right. Let's see. I would have thought anyone that had spawned there would have run off by now. Should we go in the blue compound and hit the stash on the way? Oh, this movement. The scav, yeah, scav. I can't see him though. I heard him do the shout. I'm gonna go up over here. Ah. I hear some scav shouting, but I can't see him. It sounded like he might be on the other side of the road. I don't know. Uh. I can't see him just yet. He must have seen me because he, he slugiweed me, unless it's on a player. Sometimes they are on the other side of the road, though. I'm going to go up on the... Um... Is there 
Is that a... Yeah, I see him. Hang on. Oh, someone shooting at me. No, I just shot at... I did a single shot at a scav then. Did you... What, did you have multiple shots on you or something? No, I thought you... Oh, that uh, was me. Off yeah. Metal. Oh, that was me shooting a scav then. The one that was in the compound. He's dead, so... Let's go and see what he had on him. Just watch out in case there's more than one. And also watch out on our right for anyone overlooking. Because we're easy pickings here. There's a stash over by the rock as well. There's a stash over by the rock. Yeah. If you want to take his shotgun and... I'm just searching for the XP. I've taken a key. You can take anything that's on this, Scav. Thank you. It's nothing amazing, but at least it means you'll have like a secondary weapon or whatever. This uh, stash here has been searched, so I guess whoever spawned here searched it and then ran off. So that means there's probably someone ahead of us, either at pier or rotated up to like the power station maybe, but probably best to just walk. Uh, once we get out of the compound. Yep. <laughs> or, um... And I always sort of stay this side so that if there's anyone up there, they haven't got as much of a clear shot on us. I think what I'd do here once we get through the gap is maybe cross the road and then sprint a bit along in the direct towards pier and gas station and everything. Just wondering if the guy ahead of us is like playing it carefully, we could run up on them. So that's why we probably shouldn't run. Just have a look at the chat. Hello, Sniper Life. <laughs> Sniper Life's epic, Sherpa. I, I'm a. Uh, playing with wild camper one of my friends loft crew and um he's got to do an extract on the pier so trying to see if we can make it to the pier without dying so just i'd just walk now i reckon maybe we'll find the other dude and i can snipe him Have, I, have we even got Pier as an extract? Yeah. Ah, I saw running along the top. Yep, yep. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, he's hit me. I'm just getting behind this rock. Oh, shit. Oh, he's dead. I'm dead. Oh, fuck. I'm dead too. Bollocks, 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 bollocks. Ah, that's a shame. We saw them and I got some shots off, but... Spaghetti 41. Oh, shit. That's interesting. There was someone called Spaghetti joined our stream earlier. Oh, well. The trap. Oh, and he killed a scab. Hey! Dead! I'm dead! Yeah. I'm dead! Hey! So, hello, Sakes in the chat. Hello, uh, clever nod. What's up? Oh, crikey. All right. What did I get killed with? MAT and PS? Yeah, they're probably doing the same thing as us. All right. Do you want to load up and give it one more go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I'll heal up and, uh, get a, some sort of a set up on and we'll give it another bash. Yeah, I think they were just more accurate than us uh, sticky buds. 
the way it goes sometimes. Put the tunes on. I hope you don't mind me not muting myself. Um, Wild no, Camper. Right. It just uh, frazzles me out. Right, I've got to remember to wear my Punisher clothes in case we do actually manage to kill someone. That's a shame because if I'd been accurate, I would have got like two PMC kills then, which would have been absolutely immense. Never mind. Uh, right, I'm going to try... Uh, should we go with an M4? Go with my weird AKMSN with an ACOG. Yeah, that would be funny. Uh, ah, cool. And let's put some... Um, PS in that. Put BP in this one. Stick it back in. PS in there. That away. Take some more BP. Um, right. Armor and shit. Uh. Gazelle? Oh god. Yeah, fuck it. You only live once, especially if you're me. Acid burn recovered from Stockholm. Were you at, uh, were you at, um, Stockholm acid burn, or are you asking if I've recovered? <laughs> Else, okay, and I need food and drink if we make it that far. And I need. Uh, I'll take that one. Bring some uh, yeah, non found in made sugar with me for food. Oh, okay. Have you? I, a soury's good. I like a I like a, a soury because they're cheap. Sugars because sugar is worth a lot more to you to make moonshine later. Yeah, I, I don't really think I'm going to get that far. To be honest, um, I've I've not got a lot in my yard out unlocked as is. Uh, I'm struggling ah, okay. to get to Jaeger three Jaeger at the moment. Just ah. so I can get. Um, my recipe is upgraded and stuff in my generator. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, um, I'd, I'd, I'd hang on to the sugar if, if you know, you never know, because it is like 90,000 at the moment, and it's never going to go lower, really. Um, so, like, I'll bring you in a soury if you want. Oh, I've got plenty of food. Got, yeah. Um, with, with the sugar as well, I'll be honest, I, I'm in woods and I find, like, four a day at least, usually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you got flea yet? Have you got flea market? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. level 21 at the moment. Hey, nice. Uh, right, so I, I just, I'm, I'm ready to go. Yesterday. Oh, that's good. What's that? That that um, like throttles some other things, doesn't it? So it opens up more more stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where's the salary at? Um, my yeah. slash isn't anywhere near as organised as yours. <laughs> well, it's just because I just I've just spent so much time doing scav runs to get money and just to get the cases that I wanted, and it's it's nice now. Uh, B two SP in the chat saying, "Can you get a compass or a map? You have a compass, so you can know your north, south, east, and west, and everything. But there's no maps like in the game. I mean, there are maps as an item that you can sort of look at, but there's no. It's not like Call of Duty or something where it shows your position on a map." Um, what I do normally, um, I have like a second screen on a second computer just with an image of the map open just so I can cross reference like where I am. But like most people that play a lot now, you, you know, you just sort of like know the map just by memory, really, which is crazy. That's sort of how you have to do things in Tarkov um, based on, you know, landmarks and everything. Um, but there's only a few maps that I know well enough like that. And I still always have a, um, a, 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 a map up so I can, I can see where I am. Oh no. Acid burn says you were there and you've got mild COVID symptoms. Oh shit. I don't think you would get the symptoms from the event that quick. So that probably means you had it when you were there and you've given it to people that were there, possibly including me. Uh, oh well. I'm in the idea. lobby. You're in the lobby? Okay, cool. I'm just selling a a site and then I'll be right with you. Some very interesting names in here which are stream friendly. Oh really? You can re <laughs> report them. Um 
Hey, I've reported a few names yeah. sadly so far this wipe. I got one with a gamer word that had been spelled cleverly. Not oh, good. really? Yeah, so that got reported. Oh, here we go. Inviting you to a group. Cool. Let's go. Oh, I'm excited. I'm using my cheapo S A M A K M S A K S M M S. -S. I hope I've got a laser on it. use a lot of uh, smgs recently i've been playing oh, so cool. much customs yeah that, that and double barrel shotguns with flashette rounds yeah i am um, i need to see what's up with the double barrel shotguns as opposed to other ones i i when i had a coffee break this afternoon i um was watching a pestily highlights thing with him on um factory using a double barrel shotgun and it, i mean you know he's super accurate anyway um but everyone that he was killing was using them too like it's some kind of meta does it make the gun more accurate or increase the spread uh, or something? Like, because it's no, I the same it's bullets, the isn't gun... it? Yeah, the gun's eight grand. So the gun costs oh, nothing to use. Oh, okay. I, th I think you can get a shorter barrel for it, but uh, I've never used it. But the I don't know, it's just because it it's, just it's, it's so cheap? powerful. Because yeah. you can double the shot with it, it's in fire both barrels. Oh, can you? Time. How? Yeah, so uh, I can't remember how you do it, but you oh, can but there's load a way. an AP20 and a, fl uh, and a flechette round. Oh, fuck me. Basically, that'll annihilate any armor oh, my in the God. game yeah, in absolutely. one go. Yeah. yeah oh, I'm wow. never that accurate, so I just run flechette round. Yeah. But I have took sniper scav down from the bridge with it, with an AP20. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, I'll have to, have to give that a bash. Like, um... So Acid Burn in the chat says he took a test before. Yeah, keep doing it. I don't know how it is, how easy it is to get lateral flows in, in Sweden. Like here, it's dead easy. Um, they post them to you, although they're starting to charge us as of uh, April. But um, keep doing them. Like a friend of ours knew he was positive. Like he knew he'd been exposed. He had symptoms and he had to do like seven lateral flows to get one to kind of show um, a slight positive line on there. So um and yeah, just you know, isolate and all that. If you feel, I hope you don't feel too ill, basically. Um, and I, <laughs> I, I mean, the moment I took my mask off in the club, it was my choice. But it was just so hot in there. I was like, I either take my mask off and speak on the microphone and take my chances and whatever, or I keep my mask on and like live in fear. Right, we're here. Shall we? When I'm oh. here, I go up north and. Should we go yeah. the long way round or push yeah. down and maybe try and catch those guys? Maybe if we... Let, let's push north, try and get the sniper scavs yeah. at the rock and then come back along the edge and hopefully by that time everyone else will have fucked off to resort maybe. I think we might run into someone here, but... Um, well, it depends. If they're the corner spawn people, if they um, push into us... If they're coming this way along the edge, then we'll see them. Or if they're slow Stop off the mark. Up. Okay. There is a spawn up here, but I think if we spawn where we did, I'm not sure. But usually if people get this spawn, they sprint straight to resort. But if it's me... They flibble around here and go and hit these stashes. I'm just going around the long way to sort of try and clear it. Which is a joke, because if I encounter someone, I'm not exactly going to be able to kill him. And I've got my massive blue laser on. But whenever I spawn like this end of the map, I always go and have a look to see if the sniper scavs are up, because that's a little bit of easy XP. And there's a stash here as well, if we can find it. But I would think most players would just sprint for resort if they had this spawn. Or they'd already have headed up. Oh, is that movement in front of us? Uh, whereabouts? Oh, yes, yes, I see them. Yep, yep. Now. He's once by the rock. I'm shooting at him. I still haven't killed him though. Fuck. 
there. Yeah, one of them's up. He's up by the rock there, but I... He had... It was a two... It was a duo. Um... I hit him enough fucking times, how is he not dead? And his mate went up on the right. There was one of them, if you can see where I'm looking, that there's one of them went off this way up the right towards rock passage and there's one that I was shooting a lot was down here but I can't but we can have someone close on our right probably I'm just going to um, reload and make sure I'm topped up on BP in this mag here if you can keep an eye out down there we're quite exposed, I think. Ah, I suppose I can check my Punisher quest here um, to see if I've if I got him. No. So if I rush up to where he was, his mate over here on the right is probably waiting. I hear him. Unless that's you. No, there's one up on the hill. On the top? No, it's... Is that you shooting? Yes, that was me shooting then. I okay. just fired two shots off at him. Okay. He's got a big gun as well, by the way. Okay. Whereabouts is he up? Over here, somewhere? He was towards the resort. Um, oh, okay. The big rock in front of the resort. Oh. You... Oh, you mean the sniper scav? No, it wasn't the sniper scav. It was a PMC. Oh. He was carrying some sort of long gun with a silencer on it. Oh, shit. Yeah. What kind of gun have you got? You've got a... Oh, the SKS. SKS. All right. In fact, let's reload this. Yeah, that's probably like his buddy, who's the better player. <laughs> the other one's like, I'm half dead. And he's like, don't worry, I'll get him. <laughs> yeah. And he is going to get us. What, what do you want to do? Do you want to find I'm, crown on the whip? I'm not entirely sure where you said he was. Can you right, point so like roughly where he I was? Can't. Yeah, that direction exactly there. So okay. looking directly at resort, if you look at the letter in, look to the left, he yeah. was on the flat platform. On the rock. Okay, cool. Yeah. His buddy would be down there on the left and we've left him sort of alive. So there's another one lurking down there who's doing God knows what. Mm. Did you shoot I'm at really... the guy? Do you think you hit him? No, I definitely didn't. Hit... Actually, the first shot might have hit him because he did move kind of funny on his first little bit of movement. But right. the second and third shots definitely didn't contact. Have you seen him? Where? No, I haven't. Oh. Let's go back the way we came because we've got to go out there anyway. And it's like a flank. Oh, oh getting shot in the yeah. back. Shit. Yeah, me too. I'm sprinting. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the... <laughs> Sorry, mate. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, Fortnite for days got me. I'm not used to this kind of shit, especially when I don't <laughs> know what I'm doing. I don't normally, like, try and fight people. No, same. I'm a bit of a rat in this game, but I'm not ashamed of that. 
So do you think he was up high? Did you see him? Uh, no, I didn't see him, but I do think he was up high, yeah, because mm. of the direction the shots came from. Oh, he's shooting um, at me again. Because he was still able to keep targeting me when I moved mm. around the corner, suggesting mm. he was higher than us. Yeah. He's going to have to be a very good shot to get me, because I'm quite far away now. See if they come after me or not. I might just uh, repack here. I'm annoyed I didn't get the first dude because, like, I was shooting him and hitting him with good ammo, and he didn't know where I was either. That was a real bummer. Oi. Right, I'm not going to go back that way because he's just going to be waiting for me. But if he really wants to kill me, which probably does, his mate's probably waiting to try and cut me off around here. I don't normally like encounter PMCs, so I don't know. I might go up on here a bit and just see. His mate could be anywhere now, though. You got this John, I believe in you. Huh? I said you got this John, I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really need PMC kills on shoreline, so, um. Normally, I'd. Well, I mean, I am kind of running away anyway, but. He could be anywhere, and I don't really know the spots. Same. I'm not really what you describe as a shoreline enjoyer. <laughs> I, I like it when I'm not getting shot at by experienced PMCs. Let's just pretend I'm going for a big flank and we'll see what happens. Do you know what kind of, uh, what calibre it was that he killed you with? What kind of ammo? Oh, no, I'll skip past that screen, sorry. Oh, okay. It sounded like a sort of M80 sort of, you know, one of those guns. Yeah. Whatever it was, um, he took most of my stomach out with a glancing shot against oh, armour. And yeah. then I think it took another two shots to wipe me out completely. So oh. whatever it was was pretty big. And it was definitely the guy with the silencer, based on the sound. Oh, uh, okay. I should have took my time on that shot. Should have laid down and took my breath in and stuff. Oh, wow, I found a whole load of weird shit. Right. Right. Should I go back and try and get him? Oh, there's another way up you, there. You need it? those kills. Yeah. I'll go through resort just to uh, live the dream. Oh, I've still God. got to go find the satellite on the roof of the resort, but every oh, time man. I've gone close, I've ended up dying. Oh. I even begged a five man of absolute kitted out chads for my to life. I offered them a shooting barn, a shooter barn in heaven kill in exchange yeah. for a visit. <laughs> and, and the leader was cool. Yeah. He told me if I drop my pistol, because obviously I was a pistol arrow, yeah. obviously. He told me if I drop my pistol, they'd escort me up to the roof and the moment I did one of the one of the other guys in the group domed me. Oh bastard. Yeah, that's right. what I said. <laughs> can we do a comms now so I can hear if anyone's creeping around? Um I 
know what the fuck I'm doing here, honestly. He would have been up there. He won't be waiting for me now. Over there. I'm just going to go through resort and see what happens. Probably be Sanitar there. We'll, I'll get slapped by every uh, boss possible today. Somebody's already been in. Sometimes there's a random scav over there. See if I can get any scarves at the bus station. Scouts at the bus, so I'm gonna head over there. Ooh. So shit. Ooh. I'm gonna go back for that. What am I doing? <laughs> Why am I going towards the gunfire? That's such a bad idea, John. Broken glass. Where would that...
think I might have got two of them. I've definitely got one. Come on, please give me two. Please two. Only one. I got a PMC kill in shoreline. Come on. Go on. Go on. I actually have been scared, even though I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. That's all right. That's all right. Bit of hit fire. What the fuck? Bloody hell. That was an almost. I fucking pushed a two man in a thing like. Shit. Right. Bloody hell. Have one more try at getting you to peer? Yep. All right. I'll uh, heal all my injuries. Yeah, see, those dudes only had PS. So they're probably just as scared as me. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> go on. What's up, Turntable Freedom and Havoc? <laughs> That's I went up the stairs and the guy was sat there camping them, I guess. I just third partied it. I just like came up the stairs and he didn't hear me. Probably because of like dodgy audio. Um anyway, one more Punisher kill. Down. Beautiful. Jazz MC Jazz just heard Plant Wagon Poos for the first time. Oh, you poor, poor soul. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Right, I'm going to go for the same sort of gun again. I think. What have I got? A funny AKM without a scope. Should I put a scope on it? Do the same thing. Laser and a PSO, maybe. Yeah. Um, I'm going to bring an M700 with me this time. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can, be, you can do the long-range vibes. Um... Right, I need a PSO. Where's the PSO? Uh, maybe I'll put an L can on instead. Okay, and we need a laser. I've got a laser. Good, I'm alright then. Right. That, yeah, that last bit was scary. That's what good Tarkov's all about. Like that, people that play the game properly and more fearlessly than me, um, you know, are always pushing the fights and, and stuff. Um, I'm like, oh, gazelle, God. No, let's um, do a Karun. Hey, Bitbox FX, thank you for the raid. Right, I'm wearing a Karund. That'll go nicely with my puffer jacket. Uh, balaclava. I need a scav vest off of um, our man Jaeger. I need a shitty helmet and shitty headphones. And then... Um, Yes, right, I just gotta sort out my mags now. Um one of them we'll put BP in it, sorted, and then we'll top that up with more BP. Uh and we need a bag as well, probably. And I'll take a grenade. Oh, I see if I grenaded into that room then and got them both, that would have been immense. I'd have looked like an absolute pro. Um, Good idea, I might bring a grenade with me. Yeah. Uh, take that. And... Take one of them. Good for intimidation as well, grenades. Even when you're shit, like if someone's throwing grenades at you, don't you like, oh no, they must be really good. Let's surrender. <laughs> uh, right, I've got to eat and drink. I've also just had a text from James. Um, so I just want to see what he was saying. Uh, just turn the computer on. Will text me. Cool. Just doing a short line run now. Cool. Right. I'm good. I am healed. I've got my stuff ready. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's take a better flipping. Um, 
One of them. Cool. I think I'm... Are you ready yet? I am, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's... Uh... Let's get you to the bloody boat. <laughs> um, we'll go left side. And uh, just wait until I see you in uh, the thingy. Oh, my next scout's got an M700 as well, so it doesn't matter if I lose this one. Aha, nice. I'm I'm in lobby. I'm in the the morning one. We should be said that because I was joining the uh, tea time one. Ah ha ha. Bitbot FX, thank you for the raid. Thank you, Bitbot. Here we go. Great. Oh well, that's a, that's an immense success for me to have got a. Uh, PMC kill on sh on shoreline. I'm not sure how many more I need now, but it's still quite a few. I'm sure I can do it if I just sort of go in with this sort of loadout and just spray and pray in shoreline. Not everyone's better than me. Like there are going to be some people that are a bit shitter, uh, especially if you play a bit more carefully. So we'll see. Anyway, the mission here is just to get you to the pier boat and get you out. So. Um, if we get the same, yeah, like, uh, we'll see what spawn we get, then we'll decide. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if we have to PvP, we have to, that's fine. Yeah. I, I still need, I've got um, Friend from the West kills oh, to do still, yeah. so. I just did that on um, on Factory. I just, I was like, the only way this is going to happen with any speed is just grinding factory um i think uh i did quite a bit of that on stream what worked for me was running like the papa sh shaft the ppsh thing yeah. just sort of no helmet but some and the shittest headphones so you can hear and you know level three armor and um go in with very little stuff in your secure container and immediately like hit a few jackets and things and then just try and like mag dump on people. Also, another good one that's um, using the AKMS, like Scavi AKMSs with PS in it, and just just um, hip fire, blasting, and you know eventually you'll come up against a, a pistoling and you'll manage to shoot them and get a kill because it's only seven you need. Like it took me about a, d yeah. whole, a whole day. Um, Kedders as well were, were all right. Welcome to the loft crew. Yeah, I need six in the office area for Jaeger as well, so yes. I'll combine the two yes. tasks. Yeah, I doubled it up with that. And also the short range bolt action kills I did um, in there using the VPO and just sprinting to the downstairs bit and just hoping you run into someone who's like struggling with some scavs or something. Phobocop, thank you for the nine months. Phobocop is James, who we're going to play with after this round with Wild Camper. And we're going to go to customs. <laughs> I'm going to end up basically dying a lot, but at least I th sort of acting a bit sherpery sort of helps me become a bit a better player, possibly. We'll see. Oh, I've, and it's nine months I've, of Twitch, baby. I've thrown millions down the drain on customs over the past two days. Oh, I bet. One of the uh, one of the other guys from the Addicts Discord mm -hmm. has the Rishar their TT quest. So oh God! We've been grinding that. Yeah. Every time he's got the pistol, he's got killed on the way to extract. Oh, fucking nightmare. Yeah, I, I haven't. I lost 20% um... of survival rate. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I don't have to go to customs for anything for me now for a while, I don't think. Um, I've done most of the custom. Right, we're in. Oh, that's good. My tune finished playing as well. Right, I have to make sure I'm on um, uh, rapid fire. And then we'll just decide what we're going to do based on what spawn we have. Um, hopefully it's on the left side. I kind of prefer it there. I should have come on the sniper. Ah, okay, great. So we're here. Um, do the sprint. And just sort of... We could sort of rush to pier from here, actually. And then if we get to pier before anyone else...
I'm trying to get my endurance up by uh, just keeping on sprinting until I run out of breath. Right. Full auto on. Okay, once we're up, just sprint again. Um, Okay. I guess search this thing here. Quick. But if we get to pier first, then we can just hang out inside, loot some shit. If some PMCs come, we'll have a bit of a fight. Uh, oh, I don't need there's just shit in the thing, anyway. There might be other people that like, run diagonally if they're desperate to get there, but... I would expect anyone from over there to probably just be busy dealing with cottages. I think our main danger zones is going to be people coming in on our left, also having a little look at gas station. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Cool, cool. I think there is a spawn that could have been in front of us, the one by the ambulances, so we might need to just have a little look in case there's someone running along here. Could be people running towards pier from the exact. Yep, I see someone over there, but it's a, it's a scav. I'm going to try and get him when he. I can see him coming into the petrol station yeah. now. Take him if you if you got a clear shot. Oh, he's moved right. Is he going right? Yeah, he's again? Com coming back out. Oh, he's gone back. There he is. Give me that. Oh. I think. Oh, there's that my headshot. Oh, yeah, oh I think there's one on the beach. Right. Can't see him. This could if he's a cracked one, I'm gonna be fucked. I hope not. <laughs> you behind me, okay. Yeah, it is. God knows where this other dude is. I think he might be at the petrol station there. Yeah. Oh, no, here's something on my right. Unless it's you, scuffed audio. I think he might be... Are you good? You yeah, good? I got him. He's dead. I'm fine. Took no damage. And he's got a double barrel shotgun on him. I'm going to check this stash in here. Yeah, and then we need to move to pier quick, I would say. Yeah. Oh, water filter. Nice. Stonks. In fact, I have space for that in my um, special place. I can hear fighting. I don't know if that's at the blue area or gas station. Sounds too far away to be pier, but you never know. Yeah, it sounds like Rob's Customs, maybe. Hmm. Maybe fighting the scavs in the blue thingy. In which case, we can have a little look.
Yep, I see someone. Shit, shit. It's two man, two man walking along the road towards us. Did I bring a grenade? Yes, I did. Come on. Drag out. Me, me, lost and throwing it. Drag out as well. Yeah. Should we sprint to get inside the building? Yeah. I'm just Please, no silence yeah. there. I don't need this right now. Oh, yeah, he's shooting at me. Because if we get inside... Ah, oh. uh, I'm hit, but I'm all right. You good? Yeah. Do you want to do right. take positions uh, upstairs? I guess, yeah. They'll, they'll probably chuck grenades in at us, but... Ah, oh, yeah, 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 because I can see. I don't know if this is... Yeah. That's in me, but that'd be weird. Oh, he's shooting at me through the window. From the back or the front? Uh, front. I think they're still out the front, but yeah. But I can't. I can't see them. Let's go down and go outside. Maybe, or I'll go. I'm going to go outside. Oh. Um. Into like the boat sheddy thing, although. they're going to be looking at. I'm in the, by the little green cafe building. Okay. That's you in front of me. I'm outside. Yep. Yeah, yeah that's you there. Yeah. Well, this hope it is. Yeah, yeah. Got to make sure they don't, like, come in. Behind us. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Then, like, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to try and get out of the pier boat while you can? Actually, I didn't even think about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Give it a go. I mean, they're probably going to be looking at it, but. I've got to even get to the pier. I'll get to you. And then I can just sort of wait for them and see if I can do something. In fact, let's stab some painkillers. Yeah. Good luck. I think I picked the wrong pair, didn't I? Oh, I, I got one. This extract. Oh, good kill. Oh no, hold on. I think that was no, no. Sorry, it's the previous ra raid. This is a good way of testing if it's open. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's not. It's not open. No. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, I'm out of breath. This is no. gonna get. Oh no. I don't well, they this. haven't been shooting at you, so. Uh... Right, off the so now. now they know that we're trapped here. Depends. I'm going to run to the blue thingies and see if they have a go at me. I didn't take any shots then, but... Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, they saw where, me where and I'm dead. Kill... <laughs> where did they kill you from? Uh, over the, I don't know, where we thought they were. They were the other side of, the, I didn't see him. They were the other side of, um, you know, the water, probably up on the hills or something. I got head eyes, um, <laughs> as I deserved for that move. But <laughs> I had to go and have a look. No problem. <laughs> Yeah, I'll um, end this call now so that I can play with um, James on the next raid if that's cool. Sorry we didn't get anywhere there, mate. It was good fun. Sorry we didn't get there, but yeah. <laughs> Anytime, mate. See you soon. All right, bye. Oi. Well, yes, I died in a 
shit way there, but it was my fault, so fair enough. Bally Booth, thank you for the 200 bits. Hi, Cyborg. Um, are you around, Cyborg? Do you want to help? Um, my my friend and manager, James, uh, has got to go to customs to do Operation Aquarius and like get something else from dorms. Do you want to come and Sherpa like the pair of us? <laughs> Um, if not, I'll just go with him together and probably lead him to his death like I did there with um, Wild Camper. Uh, I'm going to run to the bathroom in a minute anyway, so you've got, uh, got a minute to um, think about it. You've been painting, sir, so knackered in bed. Okay, cool. All right, so I'll, um, I'll ride solo. I'll just text him to let him know. Um... Cool, roger that, Cyborg. Cool. Um, right, I'm going to quickly run to the bathroom and top up my water, and then we're going to make contact with James, and we're going to go to customs and die a, a noble death. So, uh, see you in a minute. I'm going to hit the um, blah, 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 blah. Where's the button? Be right back.
Right, 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 right. I'm almost ready to go. I've made contact with James. Um, so once I've uh, got my shit together here, uh, good to go. Ah, I should put a laser on it. Put a laser on the gun, please. We don't have a laser, do we? Got to have a blue laser on everything nowadays. Uh, that one, cool. Right, symbol. Yep. Right, so we got the gun. We got bullets. We don't have food and drink, which I never get to the point of even using. But I know if I don't take it, that's the moment I'll need it. Right, I'm going to call James. <coughs> Hello, you're live on the internet. Please don't say fuck or bugger. Oh, I've got some weird. Have I got some weird feedback? Uh, maybe if you've got my stream open and you've got the volume of the stream up, you're probably hearing me twice. There we go. That's yeah, exactly if you turn it. the audio off, then you just hear me. Which noob? Can you hear me? Yep, yep. I can hear you fine. Nice, loud and clear. Excellent. All good. Yeah. Cool, cool. You're right. Been good. Yeah. Ready for some well, fun? I'm ready to die on customs. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, me too. I'm having that kind of what gear do i bring sort of yeah anxiety so i'm you i'm in level four armor and i've got like a weird cheap vepa 136 that runs 762 so i'm using bp in one one mag um so you've got to do operation aquarius right i've got to do aquarius and also pharmacist now i've got the key okay. for pharmacist which is 114 in two story but aquarius okay. It's 206. I don't have that. For is, either of them. Is Pharmacist two story? Okay. Uh, okay. Well, um, uh, two key 206. Are you, have you got the fleet? Buy, buy 206 now. It's cheap as shit. It's like 5,000 rubles or something okay. uh, for the Operation Aquarius one. And then just make no, sure. Think, yeah, that's the one I haven't got. I yeah, 206 is the one that you need for Operation Aquarius, from what I can remember. Got it. Um, James, you don't stream on Twitch, do you? No. No, yeah. Oh, Miss Jackalope no, was asking no. if you had a Twitch ID. Could have. No, uh, terrified. Could have. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, I've got a top load of BP in my mags as well. So yeah, yeah. That's the that's the good one. Myself. Okay. Right. So you've got the the keys we need. So it's two oh six in two story, and then pharmacist 114. is one one four. Isn't in that's story. in? I don't know farm where where pharmacist is. I'm pretty sure pharmacist is probably three story. Shall I just look it up it's... now, just to be sure? No, I'm, I've got I've got the um the what's the wiki page open? Yeah, where's it where's says... where's Piranha when we need him? <laughs> yeah, one one four. Yeah, in two story dorms, two o six on two story dorms. Oh, all right then, cool. Ah, no optional. Hang on. Pharmacist, dorm room 114. Ah, okay. First off, you'll need the 114 key, blah, blah, blah. Obtain the key, go to two story on the ground floor. 114 can be found, unlock the door. Okay, cool. All right. I've got that key, I think, 114. Uh, yep, yeah, I've got 114. I've got both of them as well. Yeah, now, good. So that's that's good. good in case I die. Um, Cool, I think I'm ready to go. Yeah, so, I am. You need yeah. to remind me. I have to go just in and then wait in the lobby, right? Yes, yeah. So we... Go morning. Go, yep, yeah, morning. Um, I'm just getting to the lobby now, insuring everything. Are you insuring everything this way? But it seems yeah. a lot cheaper at the minute than it was. Yeah, but I think one. basically the price of it goes up the higher your rank is. Like, the more you level up, um, the more it bloody costs, which is weird. Okay. Um, right, I'm in lobby now. Um, so I don't, do I here click we go. start I see you. a group? I, I can see you. I've just sent you an invite. Oh, right, there we go. Got it. Cool. Right, cool. So that's what you look like. All right, nice, nice dice. So Yeah, I've got, like, I've, I've because of hoarding gear, I've still got, I've got quite a lot of good stuff, but I just never use it, man. I ended yeah. the last white with so much, so much ridiculous yeah. kind of same gear here. I just didn't use. I need to man up and um, 
I, I did have a gazelle on the lot. A gazelle and a Karund I've just lost in the last two um, two rounds. But I half expect I'll get them back because people just can't be bothered to pick stuff up. So I don't know. Especially well, if they just I killed did, um, you. I did a scavenger on reserve and found a tac tac. Ooh. Which was, I think that's level yeah. 5. So that, that'll sit in my stash until I die, <laughs> yeah. probably. Until the wipe happens. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wild Camper made it out alive. Holy shit. Brilliant. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Just didn't didn't do what the daily was, which was getting out on the boat. Oh, that's good. I haven't played customs in a while, so I, I just I just, it just terrifies me customs. I don't know why. Yeah. Woods, shoreline, even factory, because I go in with like yeah. a sort of fairly cheap kit. I, it doesn't bother me, but yeah. customs, I'm just like You're like what do I do? I go like in, paralyzed. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, Especially when it's, when it's dorms. Yeah. So if we get a spawn that's close enough, we fucking sprint and we go straight to two-story. Well, that's where we've got to go anyway. Sprinting to two-story is number one option. <laughs> if we spawn tr uh, custom side, if we're close to the river, I'd run over and sprint to dorms. Yeah. Um, if we're at the back of their like trailer park... I'd sort of pootle around there for a bit, let other people move off, and then we'll just try and get to dorms. Yeah. If we're the other side, if we're really far, again, I'd just hover around, stay in the spawn and loot stuff and kill a bit of time, and then try to get to dorms quietly. Um, I guess do the Aquarius one first, because you only have to go into yeah, the room. Yeah, literally that, open the room you? and get in there, and then that's the quest done. I think you might have to survive afterwards, but I think if you've survived a customs raid ever, then um, it passes it. Yeah. yeah. The, the task. So yeah, because yeah, I think with pharmacists, you actually have to come out. With the yeah, case, it's then. one of the f most. I, I hate those customs ones where you have to go in and get something and escape with it because there's always somebody who wants to end you. I've got to do the gold Zibo the... one. Is that is that that's where you've got to pick something up and yeah it's another it, one yes yeah you've got to put it in the back in the trailer park cabin thingy nighttime yeah. nighttime runs i did uh, for, for me like i did quite a few of these on my own this time and it was going nighttime and just you know not running into anyone Slowly. um yeah. and then the rest is going with cyborg and like having somebody that is good enough to like kill pmcs that are coming for us basically yeah it's half the time yeah, I never see them. I don't know if they the way. I'm getting better, but I can't really tell. I'll tell you what I did. I'll tell you what I did the other day. You know, do you watch Tulu? No. The guy, who's that? He does like he does like quite sort of um, stylized kind of YouTube stuff. Okay. Um, and they tend to be quite long form, like sort of 20, 30 minute videos. Um, but he's really good. He's a really good player, and he's um, there's a, he's got a YouTube video on some nvidia settings and post effects which oh, really brightens cool. the game up um so i've been trying to play with those to see if it helps me not get shot instantly everywhere um so far it's not really worked but you know i'm sort of trying to customize to it at the minute. but he's really good you should check his video i think he streams as well in fact he does stream Tulu. On Twitch, oh sorry yeah to lew to l e w yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. ah yeah. okay right this is my move here run straight across here hope there's nobody looking for us over there Hope there's nobody ahead. We go in this hole. Uh -huh. And then just chill for a minute. Right, I've only got a single fire here. I've got a laser. So, this is like hoping that the guys that are down that end have sprinted across, those have sprinted across and not come back. So now I just creep around here and try and loot some shit and hope we haven't got like a mega shift W super PvP here that's just going to come on for the us. Roof. Yeah, already. I, was, I, was, I once got killed from here, and there's some guys just on, on the roofs of the garages, which was uh, terrifying. Oh, yeah, I've seen people doing that. We'll keep the comms to a minimum so we can listen out for stuff. Mm. A lot of these don't actually have anything in. Some of the cars do. But... Nothing in here. There, don't think there ever is. I just sort of. I usually just kind of go up here methodically. I usually skip the one on the left. Oh fuck! Okay. You good? Oh fuck! Oh. 
Got him. Okay. There's more than one. Oh, one of them. Have you just gone through the gap in the wall? I've gone through the gap, yeah. I think there's a few. I'm sprinting. We need to make sure we don't... Okay, I see the other one. He's down the end. Watch out. I don't know if you want to try and kill him for the XP or... Do you need scav kills? What's going on over there? This is me. Okay, I'll, I'll try and get him. Did you see him? I couldn't see him. He was, he, he's moved along to the left a bit. Problem is, PvP is going to know we're here now, so... He will, he'll be around here on the left now. Where the fuck did he go? Oh shit, there's two! Do they just keep running away? Yeah. Okay. You can loot that one, I'll have this one. I didn't leave the other one I killed, actually. There's a possible Bitcoin spawn in the storage area, apparently, says Wild Camper. Good mm. to know. Which one, the one that you're in? Where are you? Uh, I don't know. I did a lighthouse scav run the other day. First one oh, ever wow. did and found, found a Bitcoin. Oh, beautiful. Trying to make sure I'm using the mag with the BP in it. Yeah, I know. So. Okay. Mag drills. <laughs> Accidental mag drills. Did you loot the other scav? Yes. Cool. All right. So now we've drawn attention to ourselves. Um, let's keep pushing up north here. Let me just search this guy for the XP. He's got a massive rig. He didn't take his azimuth. No. Uh, honestly, mate, if you saw how many rigs I've got, you wouldn't be taking his azimuth. Oh, I've okay. just got yeah. so much stuff, it's ridiculous. I had to sell a load of stuff today because it was just getting stupid. Yeah. In fact, no, I bought a load of cases as well. Oh, beautiful. Because I managed to get up to the flea, so... Yeah. Okay. Oh, another one. Where was that? I think he... That might have been um, over Big Red side, I don't know. Yeah. Which means, did he see us? Or did he... Ah, oh, he might be in the... I think he might be down here. I'm pushing down towards the car that has the meds in it. Maybe he saw me here. No, nothing here. Um, yeah, we should go back the other way. Uh, it's easy to get to dawn. Sorry. <laughs> right. Let's just walk so that we can hear scavs. We'll search this room at the end. And the car has good shit in it sometimes. Uh, oh. A majaker. Oh, and there's a bag here. TP. Yeah, so there's there's another scav bumbling around somewhere. Mm. Yeah, I think. Okay. Do you want to hit the jackets? Yeah, well, I'll just hit this. Oh, you do that and I'll do the, the jackets. Wildcam says it's by one of the skips amongst the junk on the floor. It's hard to spot. Ah, okay. Oh, I don't know whether... I might insurance fraud my armour because there's another armour there, but it's only a level 3 armour. Mm. Oh, have you found a nice one? Well, it's one of the kind of 6B23s. It's oh, yeah. Really, it? If it's as good as what you've currently got, at least you've... Nah, I've got a level no. 4. 
Okay. See if there's any easy scavs to pick off here. Um, but we don't need to go into this compound. It's probably a bit risky. Yeah, let's um, go around here. Hopefully anyone else that was on this side has already gone now. Check there's no one up there. Oh, okay. Where are we going? Over the main bridge? So we're going to go... Um, I like this little one down here. Yeah. It's the way I normally go. But I want to turn off my laser. Just have to listen before. out. Okay, where's that fighting? Ice cream or construction? Right, it's just too can't see any. Danny Wav, thank you for the raid! I can't see anything. Right, I'm gonna run and do bunny hops. Then people think you're better than you are. <laughs> Now. No. Right, let's walk now and just listen out. So we want to be hitting. I would run along. First. Yeah. So we're going to run straight across and keep running. We're going to go run along the right side of dorms rather than the extract wall. I'm just looking. I can't see any scavs roaming around. Are okay, you ready? So Ooh. Yeah. There's a bit more cover in this middle bit. And then capture some stamina back when we get up here and just listen. I know this is not the best way to do it, but it's the way I do it. No, right, good, um, uh, probably walk almost. now so that people in three won't hear us. Puffing and puffing. <laughs> uh, sounds like craft work. <laughs> uh, oh, is that running towards us? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh. Oh, shit, there's running on the right as well. Where are you? Where are you? I'm just behind a tree behind you. Fuck, there's loads of running. Just don't fucking move. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kicking That's, doors in. That's the ice cream. <laughs> dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs>
Right, what am I going to take? What have we got? I've got a random AK-105. I've got an oomph. A nice AK-104. Uh, Let's see. I'm sure I had an AKM somewhere. Oh, or an MP5. Uh, let's take my weird 105 and see how that see how that that gets us. I'm not I'm not doing a shotgun in customs. <laughs> not to, not today. Another time maybe. Um, right, let's buy a good armor. That'll do. Be interested to see if I get any of this gear back. Yeah. See how so. my uh, insurance is. It's beneath the sorts of people who kill us usually, isn't it? I, uh, yeah. yeah. To be honest, I think um, I think it, it it sort of depends. Sometimes people. Well, I guess it depends who loots your body ultimately, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, because if there's just yeah, and if you've died out in the open or um, yeah, and a scav finds you. Rubbish armor just for this because the chances of this. Ah, this is a 545 by 39. Okay. Ah, that makes it easier. I can just put BT in everything. Cool. Right. Oh, I better change I the song. I Order. still haven't really got to grips with the new sort of grenade thing where you kind of have to. Yeah. Yeah, same. You can't just press the button and. Because I don't throw very many. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just... By the time I'm like, uh, there's someone there. Oh, shit. Uh, grenade. Yeah, uh, yeah. Click, click, click. I'm already dead. Like, And then you just get all these people like, underarming them and like, yeah. just like, nah. Juggling them before they throw them. Um, yeah. right, remember to take fish. money so that we can get the car extract. Oh, good point. Um, which is good to see. Good, good way to get out. Uh, and get a bit of XP. Right, so I need... Oh, uh, maybe I'll... I'll put 10, yeah, I'll just take 10,000. Oh, I could do a 45-rounder. 50, um, a 53 recoil um, AKM. I don't know if that's a bit overkill, but... Sorry. 53... That sounds nice, yeah. I'm, so I'm going with a 45-rounder just to be a twat. Um, what can we put in there? BPS, put PS in there. All right, and we need a grenade, as Jill will remind us. Okay, we've three. got that. I've got I've da, 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 da. I've, one of my other tricks as well, which is a, it's a micro money managey shit. Is it like I don't bother taking a a melee weapon anymore now so i always end up you know uh, yeah. grab it just put a knife in there and you like make a tiny bit of money you've always back. Got a slot. Yeah, yeah yeah uh food and drink as well to donate god i just go every fucking raid i'm dying it's like 8k salary 10k what uh gone into the morass but then how much money did you finish the last white with yes true and i did find a graphics card today so I got two. Yeah. I think I got. I found Ooh. one, and I got one. I got one from. Um, do you get one from a quest? Yes. Yeah, you do. you do. Yeah. Yeah. The ones that you need found in raid. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to check. That. Um, oh, it was blackout. It was really nice ammo that I found in good the other day. Right. I think I'm ready to go. I'm healed and watered, and I've got my grenade. Thank you, Jill. Um, yep. Good to go. Ready to die. Are we ready to die? I think so, although I'm going to walk in and clearly have forgotten the gun yeah. or something. Hang on. Oh no, I'm wounded. There you go. That's oh yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, you've got to heal. There's so much yes. shit to uh, remember here. I'm going to get into a lobby. Cool. Lunchtime. I've just got a fracture to fix. and 67,000 to ensure this shit. Hello, A Topic Magazine. Big up. Back to ya. Thanks, mods, for your modding skills tonight, by the way. As always, big up, big love. Thanks for your uh, skills. Unsure or down sure or not. Have I got a laser? I've got a laser on this one. Cool. 
Hopefully we get a better spawn and we can just fucking run to two story. Whenever I have my greatest success, successes on customs, it's a spawn that's close enough to, to dorms to just yeah. run there. And then I go in two story and I just crouch around and like, you know, um, you know, gradually go around loot all yeah. the rooms. And then by then everyone else has done their thing and then you just get out. Um, it's great. Yeah, yeah. And I actually survive. Or if you're lucky, you go in the um, the car. Yeah, well that's the that's yeah. the that's the way to do it. I'm in the lobby, by the way. You're in the lobby. Cool. Okay. I'm. Uh, here we go. I see you now. Invite to the group. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Walk for the win, says Wild Camper. Oh, I didn't know they were talking about me on the last hospital podcast. Were they? Cool. I'll have to okay. listen back to that, says Atopic Magazine. Hopefully is nice it still, things. Is it still, um, Jill, thank you for the 100 bits. Tony Coleman that does that. I'm not sure, because he, he's got his his thing cast, his own one. And I think the hospital one, the last time I, I, I looked, I, I have to admit I haven't had time to listen to it in a long time, but I think they kind of have various guest people now and artists. and um, I know Goose does it a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, they've um, they 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 do you know a really good job down there at just having everything completely covered, don't they? Oh god, yeah. Well, they're like a big big team and like properly managed and organised, and mm. they've got the resources mm. and their hearts are in the right place and they do things properly. Um, you know, I wish I had the like the manpower and like. Well, not just mad, just the the resolve. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I just I sort of run out of like energy sometimes, just with everything I'm trying no. to do. And um, I think they, to be fair, you know, I think it, obviously it's been a long, a long running thing, but it, it's pretty impressive. We had a, like I've been down there for meetings and stuff, and it's 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 they just do everything in there. They've got like a little warehouse and the mm -hmm. offices next door. It's it's super kind of. About 30 staff, I think, 34 yeah, staff. Yeah, yeah. Which for a drum and bass label is pretty incredible. It's massive for any, like, independent label, really. It's yeah. huge. And, like, in the event side of it, it must be... Yeah. I'm glad they're yeah. nice guys that I like doing well, because, like... Well, I think everyone in drum and bass, there's nobody I don't like anyway, but um, it'd really suck if there was, like, a label that was run by people that you hated that was smashing it, and you're like... <laughs> yeah, I um, think it's... Um, drum and bass generally is like... A, yeah. You know, they attract think, cool people. Yeah, I think for the most part. Yeah. You know, you know, everybody's. Yeah. <laughs> We're live on the internet here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Don't say fuck or bugger no names, or criticise no anyone or give away any <laughs> trade secrets. <laughs> Um, Jill Jill Ninja saying uh, the event in Bristol says its tickets are seventy percent sold out. Over four hundred people going. Brilliant. Yeah, the Lakota thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that would be good. I think it's it's good. I've noticed um, because uh, so for you, those of you watching, the guy I'm playing with now is James, who's my DJ bookings agent, and um, from Evolution, which is now part of Earth Agency. Um, and I noticed like when you move like the the, the booking uh, contracts, or I sort of see things a bit more, and it's like you get ten guest list spots and everything, and it's, so it's a lot more clear than. Um, I mean, but, you know, of course, I know I can always get guest lists and everything, but it's nice to sort of see yeah, it yeah. clearly. Yeah, so um, they have it set up a slightly yeah. yeah, it's interesting. So yeah. it'll be good um, to, you know, maybe, obviously, I need some of them for close friends that are coming to things, but it'd be good to be able to, like, allocate a few of them as giveaways or something. Yeah, um, I'll speak to them. That. Yeah, sure, yeah. we'll do that. Well, I mean, yeah, even definitely. if they even if they just want to do a giveaway, you know, we can, we can do that. We'll promote the the gig on my stream but i mean my my crew will know about it anyway the only yeah. thing is they'll want people to be relying and hoping maybe they'll win the competition and then hanging off buying tickets and then uh, missing out um, yeah, yeah, yeah. jill says big up to you james <laughs> thanks jill right here we go right okay uh follow me following I hope I'm getting this right. We're going to have to do a jump over here. I oh, know no, we're not. We'll not, go through. No, no, no. We're doing the gap in the fence. Yeah. We can do the jump over here or, or the gap. Oh, we can do the gap here. Let's do the gap here. 
We could do that one there, but then we might hit people on the left. There's the gap here by the... Um... Oh! Who's that? That's oh, Sniper Scav. Sniper Scav, surely. I think he's up there. Can you see him? Yeah, he is. He's up there. Shit. Oh, on the top of the thing. Uh... Oh, a skeleton. Oh, no, on top of the pipe. The high up uh, thingy. Okay, I can't see. Uh, yeah, he was on the corner. Should we just make a run for it? Have you got a scope? No, unfortunately not. Yeah, he's on top. You see the two tall... T we got to move because we've got to get to... Uh... Alright, let's go then. Yeah. We're going to go left through here. Jump. Oh, shit. Shot on the right. Oh, shit. Scav on the right. Good. <laughs> Fuck me. Run. Yeah. <laughs> Except we're on the three-story side, so we kind of need to cross over. Right, I think there's a scav by bus station, but cross over. Hopefully there won't be a Rashala in here either. Okay, we need to go in the front door, I think. Look out for fast running. Right, run to get in the front door. And we're going to go upstairs. Okay, it's clear. Uh, right. that's, it's nine. this one here. It's this one there. There. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mate. Legend. Look at that. And you just go in, I think, and it should just tick it off. Uh, it hasn't ticked it off. Just let me do check. It'll... I think it's one of those ones where you don't get the audible notification, but... Um... Yeah. Okay, nice. right. Let's get down. 114, I think it is. Yeah. These ones, we're exposed when we go... I think one one. I think it's on this side, so we should be all right. Uh, people can come in, jump in through the back windows. It's 110, 114 is this one. This, you've got, you've got to watch people at the back, but um, I'll unlock this one. I'm looting the safe in here. Woo! Baby! I got a lion up my bum. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, and a fire clean. Right, should we right. get the hell out of here? Well, I reckon it's quite good to go upstairs and just hang out and loot some shit. Okay, Let everyone else do that. their... Just loot everything we can in here. I can't remember what's in... Just go in all the rooms loot everything you can basically there's other lockable rooms on the other side of the grate but i never do them but there's plenty of random shit and that then scavs might spawn in we get a couple of scav kills and then get the car um no idea. and if uh yeah there's quite a few jackets as well have you done the bag yeah yeah okay yeah. I'm going to turn off my laser just for the time being. Um, yeah, there's probably more stuff. Oh, there's this bag here. Do you need anything for dailies? No. Oh, great. I got my search skill up to whatever I needed. It's done a quest for me there. Ah, I've got the key for the guard room here, actually. After this one, we'll go upstairs. Mm -hmm. There's quite a few things in here, so... Hello, Chris0191! How do you manage to keep an eye on everything, plus... I, it's difficult. And I don't do a very good job. I just glance at the chat whenever I can. SP6, SP6, PDM... Ooh, a random type of ammo. M993. Stonks. Unfortunately, I don't really have any room for that, so... Cool. I've, said, I've picked everything up out of them. 
Um, scavs spawn in when we're in here, so you have to listen out when you're looting. Um, I don't know what. Do you want to take that end and work your way towards the middle, and I'll yeah. start down here? I don't know what's in. Some of them have got jackets in. Some of them have got nothing. There's not. There's not anything huge here, but. Um, Oh, you got to go. I'm going to go through the. To get to the filing cabinet. So the filing I think I've ever spent so long. I mean, this will be famous last work. Oh, shit. Is that you? That might be fighting uh, gas. Filing cabinets. Ooh. That's some big boy fighting there. I'm coming back through the filing. Ah! I've said it before, but there's definitely something uh, metaphorical about going through barbed wire to get to a filing cabinet. Yeah. I think that was shooting at three story then. Welcome to the loft. One seal, Tim. Thank you for the sub. I'm in the hallway. Thank you, Ron Seal Tin, for the eight months. Thank you. Hopefully, the car will be there. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Ooh, I've just got quite a nice key, I think. Where are you? I'm in one of the rooms on the, this top story. Floor. I'm just coming out. I'm opposite 203. Ah, uh, never mind. I gotta stay focused. Yeah. Yeah. It's because all the doors are open there. Yeah. I'm just looking out towards. I can't see anything in three story. Just looking out the back. Is that you on the uh, barbed wire? Yeah. I've already been in the room with the barbed wire. Yeah. It's yeah. Good. Uh, I'm in the room with the big filing cabinet, so you can take one set and I'll take the other. Shut the door behind us, because usually yes, by the I time I've got, usually by the time I've got in here, um, so I'll I'll take the right one, you take the left. Filing cabinet. Uh. I've got a little bit of money. Oh, I'm just eating my apple juice. Right. Um, yeah, I'll buy some milk, actually. So you've got the item, so now we need to get you out alive. Um, yes. Right. I'm checking the extracts. We could get the car if it's there. If not, mm -hmm. we're looking down the other end, like the old ZBs and everything. Yes. So, if we have a look and the car isn't there, I'd run all along the edge. Yeah, go up edge past it military all the way base, round. edge it right that's round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. the plan. I don't think that. Yeah, so we have to go back down. We can jump out one of the back doors, though, when we get down there. Just watch out for scavs. Um. Ah, oh, yeah, did you check the, um, I'm just checking in here, I guess there's any bad guys. But it's always worth searching that scout. Welcome to the Loft Crew. Akuma Hello. Kill, thank you for the seven months. Tarkak Love, D -D 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 -D. Anything good? Uh, I think there's a couple of jackets here, I know. I think we can jump out of this window now, at the yeah. back. I think you have to crouch jump it so you press, yep. Yeah. Oh, good time. Right, I'm going to sort of run and check if the car's there.
don't think it is. No, it's not. Okay. Yeah. I'll hear it. Go. <laughs> ah, typical. <sighs> to be fair, if we take the edge, we should be okay. One would hope so. Stay frosty, James. We'll, s <laughs> we'll stay walking now, no running, just so we know anyone's coming. Check the camp here, see if there's a flash drive by the guitar. Uh! Oh, it was that. Jill Ninja did a sound alert of a bullet firing at me. Thank you, Jill. I'm just searching this bag real quick. Oh, I've got a shroud shroud. Nice. Okay. Oh, look at that. He's lying down like a pro. Right. Okay, so we're doing the edge running. James is an edge edge running specialist. We're just sticking to the quiet path, hoping we don't run into other edge runners. Jill, thank you for the 200 bits. Oh, we've got a hype train. Really? And there are some stashes along here, but I always miss them. So we'll see how we can do. Ah, yeah, there's that one there that I think I know about. Thank you, Jill, for the 200. Car battery, do you need a car battery? No, you probably do. Have you done car no, repair yet? I've, yeah, I've got five batteries in there. But are they found in raid ones? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good man. Oh, mate, I'm a scav. Yeah, you, <laughs> when you're scavving, yeah. You, any quests that require things, no oh, problem. Th today, I did a scav run just before this, and um, I sort of ran, and I ran, instantly ran out of stamina. I was like, how? I looked in my inventory, I got a tank battery. <laughs> just spawned in with a tank battery? Yeah. So Sometimes there's things in here, I had a look in here the day. Welcome to the Loft Crab. Hello. Jill, thank you for a gifted sub, going to Big Sky Bruce. Right. If it wasn't for the quest item, I'd... Um, be venturing up there to have a look at stuff, but it's good just to get out of here. Got to watch out for sc player scavs as well. There's a stash around here somewhere as well, isn't there? Um, there is. Yeah. There's a wooden. Yeah, one of those. Ah, here we go. I found it. This one's mine. Yeah. Sugar! There's a VKBO bag here if you need one for anything. I, uh. They're not really. No. Ah, a topic was, uh. Oh, you just listened to Pirate Station, you weren't there. Either way, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for another 200 bits, Jill. Thank you. You're keeping us going here. Right, so we're coming down here at military base CP, and there's a stash. We can probably sprint down here. Yeah, across there. Sometimes you get sky fence. Yeah, have to watch out for this. There's sometimes that sniper scab up there, don't you? You can hit the stash if you want, and I'll pretend I'm protecting us. Hopefully we don't get any troublesome scavs um, down the end. Susan, thank you for the 200. I'm determined to go for a proper run tomorrow, so I'll uh, be doing it in your honour as the uh, official proper marathoner of the, the Loft crew. I did couch to 5k before Christmas. Oh, wow, well done. I feel like I'm right. going to be starting back at zero almost I, I didn't quite get to 5k it was like you could run i think it was 5k i'll run for half an hour which, which, I can, which i've been doing three times 
Yeah, that's good. like just a nice half an hour runs good, clears the mind and gets the blood flowing and everything. Like, I I'm going to start going back to the gym now. Now that that gig's done, yeah, I don't have to worry. I was worried about you know getting it and not being able to travel and stuff. Um, yeah, but I suppose when they change the isolation rules, it doesn't even fucking matter. You can still just travel. Yeah, if you're uh, positive. From the, the only issue <laughs> depending is on the countries. If you're if Europe has a bit of a reaction to it. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. People from UK has it. to do PCRs. Yeah. 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 Right. We need to stay frosty here, don't we? Yeah. There might there might be a sort of snipey scav up in that. There is isn't the chat. House up the over there. Point. Cool. Sometimes there's some nice things here. Is the the audio is still so it's weird? It's a bit funny. Yeah. These, like, random scav shouts that are kind of half muffled. And... Yeah. Oh, a rat cola. Uh, what shit can I drop here? That. Uh, okay. Right, this is the, the proper... Year. Oh, grenade! From the right, grenade from the right. I see it, it's on the other side. Oh, it's a, possibly a scav. Oh, no, 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 no. Just keep running, get to extract. I'll just try and hold them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To extract, he's coming, he's I'm coming, out. I'm he's out. coming. I'm out, I'm out, mate. I'm out, I did it. They're chucking grenades at me. Bastard! I was waiting. I was could have just gone for the extra. But I was like, no, they're chasing me down. They're horrible people. Never mind. Oh, oh it's a TTV here as well. Oh, he got me. Got me. Meanie should have held. Hold your foil. <laughs> that was fun. You got out though, right? Oh, fantastic. Great. Oh, brilliant. That was good. I think I saw me hanging around and sort of fighting them a bit slowed them down enough. Oh, that's great. Great, great. Hey, I've actually done something useful. I've actually done something useful for once. Hooray! That's open. That, that's, that pharmacist quest opened yeah. so many quests as well. Amazing. I'm going to write this guy's name down so I can sort of apologise for, like, shooting back at him. <laughs> Sarafa TTV. GG, Zarafa, well done. That was a sh It's a shame though, because I was waiting and holding the angle and I heard them coming and I shot, but well, I had, I'll have had shitter armor and shitter bullets, basically. That's why I lost that. But at least I put up a fight for once. Mate, I just, nice. I just literally ran, but that was amazing. Hey, amazing. brilliant. I actually managed to help you, finally. Brilliant. That is amazing. Nice one. Cool, man. I'll, um, I'll end the call. Um, yes. That was really good fun. We should do that again, like, because I've done all these quests now somehow, and if I can sort of help, it, it sort of at least I know how to do some of them, and so I can sort yeah, of man. sacrifice myself almost. <laughs> that was amazing. Thanks very much, mate. Okay, no worries. Take Speak care, mate. Soon. Big up, peace. Take care. Bye. Bye. Cool. Uh, we're in. I'm going to take my, my fleece off. Might do... Um, what time is it? Oh, it's 20 past. I could probably make this the end, really. I'll, um, we'll hang out and have a little chat, though, before I end the stream. So I can get to bed at a normal time. Snotty Glock says, Stream scene transitions looking clean. Thank you. They're, um, the video is good and clean and everything, but the computer I'm running it off is a bit uh, not very capable. So things like the transitions you'll see if we um that one's okay um god there's so many i don't bloody use when we're playing like i need to switch <laughs>
sometimes the transitions are a bit glitchy and i think that's down to the computer that i'm using as my stream pc um which is a 2010 mac pro like not only is running obs on a mac a bad idea um because it's it's not as effective uh optimized it's just this is a really old computer so i'm really we're working on on something a possible like sponsorshipy partnership thing um, so i might and be able to do some stuff with a, get a new pc somehow so we'll, we'll see how that goes um but in the meantime just for the talk the talk of streams it's all right it's all right but um it'll be improving soon humble muscle thank you for the two months big up big up yeah, I'm squeezing it right out. This is a 2010 Mac Pro that's the stream PC. Um, I'm doing it at 720 as well to like ease the processor up a bit. And um, but also because my in my internet's not really far, I haven't got the bandwidth to like up upload to the internet um, enough. Yeah, that one's all right. That's a glitchy transition anyway, but that's running as it should do. Um, but yeah, the computer's not not my gaming PC's fucking shit hot um it's just the streaming one that's that's pretty old now um yeah so that was that was fun that was a really good i love customs even though i usually end up dying at least i know where things are and i know how to play it i just you know usually fall at the final hurdle when we get in a fight with somebody um but um that was great that we got james out there and actually managed to help him get two quests done which is bloody brilliant um sorry with wild camper i failed to help you there but <laughs> i feel like it helps me improve a bit when we're, we're doing it this way um stick the face chat on you don't need to see the um the gaming stream shit anymore um i think i'm gonna call it now because it's late and i'm trying i'm trying to get to bed like by 10 30 ish although i usually fail but um if i manage that i feel so good the next day and if uh, the, uh, pr as it gets progressively later, um, I feel shitter. <laughs> so um, we'll we'll see. I'm just going to check on my laptop. Um, oh no, I can do it on air actually. Um, see who else is on that we could raid. Thank you, Jill. Thanks for all the, the support and the bits and stuff tonight. I uh, sorry, that, I was getting weird shit in my ears then. Um, oh no, I've just failed and eliminate. Oh, I did get a... Hang on, let's... You can share with me the joy of uh, handing in a quest here. So in the middle of that thing when I was searching stuff, we reached the required search skill level nine. And that's a really good one, actually. I get an axe, <laughs> uh, which I'm not going to use, but I get loads of XP, so that's great. There's no follow-on quests, I don't think, but... That's that's a bit of success for me tonight, I suppose. Um, and we did get a lion that raid, so even though I died, um, I don't know what lions sell. One hundred and two thousand. It might be better for me to get a docs case with it or something. Or I'll decide later. Um, so I'll be back on tomorrow. Um, I'm sorry I've been a bit uh, on and off with the streams uh in the last few weeks i mean we went away for a few days but i've also i'm feeling all right now but i had a couple of weeks where i was like sometimes i get a pretty depressive uh like you know trough um and i'm cool with that like it's annoying when it happens but i always come out of it um but i'm just i just generally get feeling feeling a bit overwhelmed with everything and i just um the the, the streams can put a lot of pressure on me to be prepared um and I, f I feel like if i if i can't if i'm having a a rough day and i make the decision to not stream that night it really gives me a lot of headroom um because i don't have to plan the set i don't have to be doing something in the evening and try and get new visuals done and also sort of try and be all like up and cool when i'm a bit mashed so um that's why i sort of skipped a, a couple recently um but i'm feeling better now that uh, you know i did the gig in um sweden we got that out of the way um and i've got a month at home now and i can get on with um a lot of the things i'm trying to do um so i'll be i might start dropping the wednesday streams every other week or something like that to just buy me more time um uh but you know the, i think the fridays are the most important ones that i should really preserve as, as best i can um 
but I'm, I'm really trying to like make sure I have some time to myself and um, like properly relax or to, which I find very difficult to anyway just because of my sort of hyper -y mind um, but at least at the weekends Magda shouldn't be working so it means we can try to like go for a nice walk somewhere or start to do some more allotment gardening things and all that um, so um, so yeah anyway anyway just uh, rambling there right I'm just having a quick look seeing who's on um that's also playing Tarkov, that's a friend of ours. Um that would benefit from a bit of a raid. Um dum 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 uh let's see. Um, uh, Takali's. Let's raid Takali's because he's um, on the forward as one, and uh, we've raided him before. He's a lovely, lovely man. He'll look after you. Uh, let's make sure I spell it right. Do we do we do? Yep, 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 cool. So uh, I'll say me bark goodbyes. Um oh yeah, Susan, yeah, Saturday was amazing. Like it, it was it was really cool. And it always feels really nice that I'm doing it and you guys are there as well, like with in inside my iPhone, and I feel like so proud I've been able to like bring you along and and sort of involve you in it. Um so that's really really cool because it's it's a very strange experience i can't really explain it how it feels personally when you're traveling somewhere to dj in another country and like um when you're a bit older and reflecting on things rather than just like young and crazy and drunk and whatever you're like this is fucking weird i was got up at 4 30 this morning and now i'm in stockholm and there's all these hundreds of people here and they're going Way, and this is mad and like tomorrow i'm gonna be back home doing some gardening in the garden isn't it all weird <laughs> so it's like it's quite cool that like you guys can come and you're like this is fucking weird as well i can see it but it's really cool too um so yeah it is funny having you all trapped in the phone like the port the portable loft crew come into the to the rave so i'm looking forward to doing a lot more of that and taking to more and more crazy wonderful locations um <laughs> lakota in bristol we'll see about that i don't know how that'll go at least I won't be, have to worry about my phone uh, getting signal and stuff with it being in the UK. So that's cool. Um, so, yeah. All right, cool. Well, I'll sign off now. I need to go and say hello to Magda and stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow for um, some music business, beach bar. Hopefully a couple more um, scenes in there. I've got some Tarkov beachy scenes I'm popping in. Um, and thank you to everybody for all the bits and the subs tonight. I'll just have a quick look through here. Humble Muscle, Jill smashed it with a whole load of bits there. Susan, thank you. Um, lots of lots of Jills in there with with the bits. Akuma Kill, Ron Seal Tin, uh, Danny Wav with the raid, and then lots of new follows. And a big up to the man like the Phobo Cop and a Wild Camper as well for the raids. So I'm going to hit the goodbye button and uh, send you over to Tokali. So uh, please hang around with him for a bit and smash the emotes when you land in his channel to let him know you're the Loft crew. All right. Lots of love. See you soon. Bye bye. Good night. See you all, guys. Thank you again. See you tomorrow.